Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And I said, hey, 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 hey. Nice. Uh, let me bring up my Kalandar. <clears throat> that's, that's combat, which we haven't seen in fucking years. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't remember where we left off. We guys. bought a ship. Yeah. That's what we, we bought, did. We bought a ship. Just like how like buying a plane ticket equals I actually technically own this Boeing 747. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. okay. That is how that works, actually. I am it's, it's precisely what happened last holidays. time. Don't try and spin it as anything else. Yeah, so that's we did that, and then we were just waiting at our in, in our rooms or whatever. And morning has just come. And we have another, what is it, other a day or two until uh, our airship leaves. And, and until then, we're just uh, wasting time, hanging out. Simply vibing. Yeah, simply vibing. Ooh, uh, notably, Deirdre just did a ritual to see how attuning to the apotheosis vessel would turn out, and apparently just good. Just good? <laughs> Just good. Right. Right. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's 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 low morning. Uh, sun is rising over the wall. Whatever. Uh, sun's creaking through these sort of tall, steampunky walls that there are. Uh, you guys all gather in the uh, main Eagle Point Inn. What do you even call that? A lobby? It's only a lobby. Rotunda. There you go. Hmm. In the in the lob tunda of the uh, Eagle Point Inn. Uh, Ryan's still there, just polishing off some stuff. Seems pretty uh, tired. Like they hadn't sleep slept in a while. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so just uh, watches you all emerge one by one from the hatch in the floor. Ah, finally awake, I see. I uh, never slept. I don't sleep. I guess you could see a lot if I don't sleep. Ah, elf shit. I got it. I'm not an elf. I'm a bird. Same difference. Right. Okay. Well, if y'all uh, take a seat, I'll whip something up here for you. Riley takes a seat. <laughs> Deirdre takes a seat. So, this morning, uh, about five, ten minutes ago, I'd say, um, I did a little uh, communing. And the gods say, uh, oh, something just Uh-oh. left. The gods say somebody died. The gods say somebody died, but that's not important. People die all the time. The gods also said, uh, attuning to your extra arms of the chosen would be solely a good thing. So, arms of I, the chosen? Is that what you decided to call the apotheosis vessel then? That's what they're called. What? Arms of the Chosen. Yeah. Is, you know, I, I've explained before, uh, you have to be chosen by a god to wield one. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. That's what they used to be called uh, in, back in my time. From, from my uh, uh, trousers of the walrus, as kids say. Oh. I, th- I think a more modern version would be my neck of the woods. Oh yes, I understand that one. Mm. Okay, who keeps is that Mills who keeps losing? It is, yeah. It's Mills, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So if you are willing to part with that, uh, send that my way. I mean, I do defer to you, of course. But should you find it 
uh, appealing to give that to me. Ben. I mean, we could always just use it as a lender, right? I mean, if that's how you want to do it. If I'm you're actually if you're chosen by the gods, as these weapons seem to say, Hello. then chances Hello. are Hello. you'll stumble upon your own version of a crystal one time or another. And then we can get this one back to uh, th- That's actually not quite how it works. Because uh, um. back, back in my time, uh, these used to be stolen back and forth constantly. Mm. So wait, does that mean anybody can attune to them? Uh... Well, no, see, they were stolen by certain gods, because they usually were just, you know, the property of the more powerful gods, but some of the uh, less uh, overwhelmingly powerful gods would sometimes send agents to steal them for their own use, because they didn't have their own. Uh, But then they did have their own, because they just took them from the other gods, and... Yeah, basically anybody can use them, as long as they're chosen by a god. Oh, so, say for instance then, we find another one of the Chosen and we take their weapon, we could give that one back to Merrick and he'd be fine and dandy. Yeah. Well, then we need to find somebody who is worthy of having their stuff stolen. (laughs) (laughs) That's a way to put it, for sure. But I mean, you can theoretically have one without being Chosen, you just won't be able to use it. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, I suppose then there's no point in delay unless anybody else wants to chime in. There looks around at everybody individually. All right, I suppose that settles it. Jana, if you would. What? I'm pretty sure Jana has a possession of Merrick's crystal, right? I don't know. It's either Jen or Zero, one of those two. I don't Wait. think it's me. I think it's either Riley or Jana, because I think we agreed that it should be somebody with a good like passive perception. Um Riley has like crazy amounts of stuff on him already. I'm pretty sure we left this with Jenna. Jenna's gonna tell Deirdre. Open up Georgia's mouth. I think I stored it in his stomach. If you just reach in and grab it, it'll be fine. Deirdre's gonna do that. Okay, Georgia gonna... opens his mouth. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Deirdre yeah. opens up. Goes to open up Georgia's mouth. Okay, you're gonna give fucking a fist Georgia's mouth. Uh, no, I'm I'm just gonna open it up and just look around in there. Okay, you can see, but I made like a face of confusion. Uh. Sure, make a perception check. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. You open up Georgia's mouth. He was sort of just, he goes, and he just, just, uh, 45 degree angle. Um, you take a look inside. It looks like the inside of a bear's mouth. There's some bits of food scraps that are stuck through the teeth. Uh, no, no crystals that you see immediately. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's anything in there other than uh, food. Uh, maybe he digested it. Maybe, you know... Jana's they, gonna wait, laugh what? and just pull, pull it out of her pocket. Hmm. Do you that call your pocket Giorgio, too? No. Fucking ah, I see, I've been had. <laughs> it has been adjusted. <laughs> I've ingested that. Mm. Yes, yes. Quite possibly bamboozled. Certainly bamboozled. <laughs> Alright, that's enough fun at the expense of the ancient bird who doesn't understand modern what have yous. <clears throat> should take you some time to get all attuned to that then. We need to focus on making sure nothing bad happens for the next day and a half or so. Right. Well, about that, uh, I was hoping I could get those of you who are, uh, who we know to be not wanted by the guards, uh, to go to a local guard outpost or what have you to check out uh, the wanted people and see if uh, 
not naming names, but any of us are on that list. Just in case, you know? I suppose we could. Because we don't know what the process is for getting on the airships. In fact, uh, we could have other people go re really quickly to go and check what the process is, just to make sure uh, that we're all set, see if there's like a guard check or anything like that. Hmm. Who volunteers then? We really only need, need one person for each, right? I mean, we don't really split up the party like that, though. Hmm. Well, just in case, uh, uh, I don't necessarily want to walk directly into the guard outposts. Oh, no. Mills oh, is having big yeah. trouble today, huh? Yeah. He's probably been trying to chime in for a bit. I wonder what's going on. Mills, try resetting your laptop. I, are you sure that your device is plugged in? Hello? There Hello. he is. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Just swallow the microphone, then, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we'll be doing just fine. If you are speaking, we no longer hear you. Now we hear you. I, okay, I, I, yeah, I have, I was like trying to do technical difficulties that whole time, but, uh, okay, so what time is it? And what time, like, like from when they got the tickets to the thing? Uh, you know that it's, if you check your handy dandy watches that you got from, uh, Terra Steelborn that you got. Uh, it's approximately six fifteen ish right now in the morning. Uh, the guy okay. at the at the airport told you that is going to be coming in at on the seventeenth of Hayes. Uh, right now it's the sixteenth at around uh, six a.m. But that's when it's actually coming into land. You're not sure when it's actually going to be ready to take off. Okay. Did well, I've no did they in the city? So. Did they tell me that yet? Because I was stuck in the room sleeping, and then uh. they stole my money. That was a thing that happens. Runescape. Oh, yeah. So I woke you, up and I count my money and it's not there. But you never have money. <laughs> I, I do now. <laughs> Are you guys telling them that you guys bought airplane tickets? What was the um, yeah. wait? Um, <laughs> don't you remember we you went and we bought plane tickets? You did. Yeah. Do you remember this? You um, you drank a lot last night. Yeah. I was in my room sleeping. That's why you don't remember it. <laughs> no, you you guys you guys put me on lockdown. Did we? You're right. Maybe you should we? go back to your room. I think you put yourself on lockdown. We didn't do anything. We were off buying the tickets. You had free reign over your night. You went to a staring contest with Isaac. Oh, yeah. That was a thing. Three this weeks. Is of, this is out of character. Um, how, Why did I take all of Chris's money again? Like, all of his money? Not all of his money. I thought no, you, you just took enough for the tickets. Yeah, you just took, took the thing. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you should still have some money. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I have some money, but I know that you... some is gone. Yeah, you're, you're 125 short from what you were normally at. Oh, well, there's your explanation. Does Chris do that every morning? He just gets up and he counts his money? <laughs> it's like a fucking mob boss. But that's his, like, his, his well, morning routine. I just, uh weigh it with my hand and if it feels <laughs> a little empty then i know this feels exactly 125 gold lighter than usual <laughs> hmm. interesting chris make a perception check for your for weighing money they're just gonna pull a frog out and put it on the counter <laughs> yeah you got you're, you're missing some money not sure how much, but 
there is there is an amount missing from your wallet. I wanted to go buy some things. <laughs> you still have a couple thousand left, I'd reckon. Well, do you also want to go to Tetscrat? There's no uh, R in Tetscrat. Tetscrat? <laughs> you mean, mean Tetscrat? Somebody say rat! <laughs> want to go to Tetris rat? <laughs> they're, they're just going to hand a rat to Jenna. Yeah, rat. Rand Rand comes back gonna carrying some like, mashed potatoes and like vegetables, and he sees a frog and a rat just run downstairs. Can Jana get the rat to like perch on her shoulder like a little parrot? Uh, you can try and grab it, yeah, if you want to. No, I pull it out of my hat and I specifically hand it to Jana. Yeah, and I want to put it on my shoulder like a little parrot. Okay, make an animal handling check. I'm gonna do that with guidance. <laughs> okay, it it stays on there. It seems content on your shoulder. Hell yeah. As the frog sort of jumps downstairs, Ren and just looks at it and says, that's going in the stew later anyway. Anyway, here's <laughs> your um, mashed potatoes, vegetables, and carrots, peas. Not the fancy, but functional. Oh, it's just like at home. <laughs> I thought you only ate fish at home. Out. What are you talking about? We need something to complement our fish. Don't you More just use fish. birds for that? <laughs> I'm not what going to going dignify on? that with a response. I'm just going to eat now. Right, well, um, enjoy your meals. I'm going to grab some uh, should I? Don't steal anything while I'm gone. Okay. What time is it? Like eight a.m. Like six a.m. You get a, you get the sense he's been up pretty much till now. Oh. Yeah, there are, and you do see there are a couple, uh, just straight passed out people just in other tables. So I just waddle over them as a, uh, as he sat down. Can I draw um something profuse on somebody's face that's passed out? Sure. What are you going to use, and what are you going to draw? Yeah, what have I got in my bag? I think you picked up like charcoal or something. Or chalk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what I have chalk. chalk. Okay. It's not the greatest material around skin, but it makes marks. Um, I pulled a well of Arcanium. Rude, but now can I just draw a little cartoon of Giorgio? You're seeing a big thick... Okay. Um, make a slide of hand check. <clears throat> I'll also do this with guidance. Imagine using magic to improve oh, your face. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Dude, on, on one guy's face, on his left side of his cheek, you sort of just like take like a dagger, shave off like probably like a palm's worth of hair. Just to have this nice clean surface. And then you use that mm -hmm. same dagger, sharpen your chalk to like a, like a point. And then you basically recreate like the upper half of the Mona Lisa, but is a bare head on his cheek. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to pull out a vial of Arcanium and just like, just, like jostle it around a little, and just I wonder what would happen if you use this as ink. Oh, Deirdre, you do know that stuff's illegal in this age, right? No. Oh. Well, it is. You should probably not flaunt that around like it's nothing, because in this day and age, you could get mad busted for having that on you. No prison can hold me, but I guess. And put put it back in my pouch. Right, so who's going to go and check out the cops? I mean, I might as well. Anybody want to come with me? Or should we watch over these two and just have me go? I'll go. I'll go, I'll go with you. I think these two are in timeout. I don't think they can go very far. I would like what did to go. I do exactly? And if they go See, that that's far, the it's at your own risk. It's at your own risk, knowing you could have people looking out for you that could put you in jail again. We're talking about a man who has a chaos entity inside him, wanting him to do everything he can to make as much chaos as possible. So I think what we're going to do instead is I can I'll stay here and I'll look after him. 
and I'm just gonna tune this uh, chosen arm, our arms of the chosen, uh, and I'm I'm gonna be content with that for the next day or so. Uh, what time does the airship leave? I believe somewhere in the morning. Next, yeah, next morning sometime. Right. So we should probably be there around what dawn. Dawn sounds about right. Hmm. Right. Well, I'll probably just be staying here until then. Uh, please do come back with news of uh, whether or not we're going to be able to board this airship with or without incident. And also, if I should, you know, be on the lookout for people on the lookout on their way to the airship. You hear people laugh from outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> Loving wow. this mission. Sounds like a lot of fun out there. Good thing I didn't stab a guard, and now I have to stay in quarantine <laughs> in a hotel. Okay, bye. <laughs> off the door. Have a good trip. Same channel bounces. Okay, so who's going where? Just Deirdre's you know. going the, upstairs. Deirdre is downstairs. Tuning, downstairs, whatever. Uh, and Chris and Riley are just staying in the in the inn, or what? Um, I, I no. would like to go to the Atney Brothers. That's too okay. bad, isn't it? Because Jana has the bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she close by? I mean, we can go and get back. You don't need to go right this second. Jana's already okay. out the door. She's out the door. I shot, but she's leaving. Um, um. Before I completely like leave, leave. I'm gonna again tell Azik to um. Just keep his eye on Chris and let me know if he uh, like escapes, I guess. Okay. As it goes under, and then you, you see him just poof. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, without your command, he just disappears. What? Well, he left? No, he just disappeared, like, 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 um... <gasps> As oh if you no! Away. Is the killer back? Because didn't he poof Azek right away? Oh, okay, you said he just he just like poofed like he went somewhere else. Poofed as in yeah, like like as if you like banished him to the shadow realm, or if he got killed, like that sort of like puff of like brim uh, brimstone and just like a few black feathers that sort of just fade into ash. Can he do that on his own? Is Deirdre even around to comment on that? I don't think he would do I that. I mean, sometimes. depending on what time frame is, like, Deirdre no, would be would leaving have... like after they leave. Okay. I would have done this like right before I like totally leave, like the door, I guess, of the tavern. So it wouldn't be super long after uh, we head out. That's bad news. No, I mean like okay, so I'm I, I'm I don't know. I think I'm just confused what you're saying, Simon. So you're saying he left like, to like go he, watch Chris, or are you saying that something weird happened? He, he he was in the middle. He said under, and then he just poofed. And you don't see him anymore. No. Can I try to resummon him back? Just like call him back. Okay, so you try to call him back. Nothing happened. What? What? Huh? What? Huh? Is what what happened? Oh. Is your bird oh. supposed to disappear like that? Is Deirdre here? Yeah, because you hadn't left yet, right? No, I sent him outside. So oh, okay. everyone except for maybe Jana is seeing this as it's happening. No, Jana and Riley are with me. The, I think Riley's saying, I think it's just Jana sees this. Okay, so it's just Jana oh. then. Yeah. Uh, just that's looks not like a sign. That's not good. Uh, Should we I go back? Uh, do we have an hour for me to try to recast the spell? We're not in a hurry, right? I no. feel like that's a bad. Like, what would have poofed Azic though? I don't right, because the only other time he was poofed or killed was when the serial killer Snake Man. 
Simon, so I can't like feel or hear anything at all, nothing at all. I know you said I wouldn't be able to feel if he just like died, I guess, from too far away, but you know, nothing. Can can Diana make a perception check of like the area? Like, does she see anything weird? Uh, sure, make a perception check. With a guide. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Uh, what's your definition of something weird? Just like what people staring at you, or like? I guess, and you know, like what would have caused Azic to poof? Like, is there something, someone acting weird, or like making eye contact with us? Someone paying attention to us? Uh, at the moment, seems it's pretty early in the morning. There's not many people around you. The few people you see are either just, just fucking drunk. And on their way home, or drunk and on the floor, or just starting their day. You see a couple of, um, yeah, just a couple of like uh, homeless guys, a bunch of like maybe just kids walking around. They seem pretty ragged and shit, but nothing out of the ordinary. This gives me a bad feeling. Yeah, um, Janet can go if you want to. I'm going to stick around, like, maybe around the side of a building and try to cast Find Familiar again, because I think Zero is a little bit worried right now. I know it takes an hour, but that's why I said if we have time for me to do that really fast. Not fast, an hour, but, like, you know, if we're not in a split. I really don't want people to go off by their own right now, though, with that just happening. Yeah. So, I mean, do, do you want to hang around? We're still close yeah, to the tavern, I fine. guess. Okay. Cast, re recast, find familiar, and then we can go. Okay. Well, yeah, so I guess I'm going to go on just to the side of a building and try to do this again. Jana's going to watch you the whole time you're doing that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you, you guys don't enter back into the, uh, into the building at all, just off the alley somewhere? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then Jana's going to be like, watch, when I say watching Zero, it's more like keeping an eye out for things surrounding the area. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm keeping a watch. Sure. Uh, okay, so with, I'll keep your perception check in mind. Okay. So. Can I, oh, you... sorry, one last thing. Can I also cast Alarm in the area that <laughs> Zero was casting to find familiar? Okay, are you doing it as a ritual or are you doing it as just a spell? Actually, I don't think, I don't think you do it as a ritual, so you just have to use it. Uh, yeah, it has to be as a spell. No, I'm, I'm okay. just a ritual. But she's, she's a ranger. Or... You also have druid. Are you using it as a druid? Is I'll just a druid spell? spell. That's fine. Okay. okay. So it takes a minute to cast. not too bad. You, you start to thread the silver wire across the floor, across the walls, and making this like sort of um, this, this uh, square that you are alarmed against. And as you finish the spell, it sort of just almost changes in color to map the terrain to make it a lot less noticeable. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I think Zero is like on the ground, kind of like frantically grabbing all the uh, herbs and stuff for fine familiar out of their bag, just kind of worried. Uh, sure. So you take the hour to cast Fine Familiar. You put the coals and incense in the brazier. You start chanting and sort of muttering under your breath the words. And that familiar uh, column of fire erupts as you just think of the Azix form. And the flames die down, leaving just this sort of uh, smoldering set of just charcoal and ash. But no bird in sight. What? No, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Did your bond break? I don't know. What the fuck? Okay, um, can I, like, just look up into the sky so I don't fucking hit a person and just, like, try to, like, do an Eldritch Blast really fast? Okay. You should do Eldritch Blast in into the air and, uh, so this candlelight, almost, like, fist-sized trail of light just shoots through the air. For about 120 feet before dissipating into sort of ca uh, candle smoke. I don't think it's like a bond or anything. What the fuck? Okay. This isn't good. Okay, I sadly gather up all my things and put them back in my bag and just tell Jana, let's go. Okay. okay. Uh, Jana, in that time, 
you just keeping an eye out. Uh, and you notice some of the kids, uh, they're just sort of raggedy and like they almost look like they seem like they're orphans. They're just sort of just, uh, just walking around, just sort of begging for coins. Um, with that fucking perception check, um, you notice that there's a sort of kid, probably about like 10, nine years old or so. Um, uh, sort of just like just dirt smeared face, sort of just like buzzed his hair with some sort of razor, so he's just clean shaven. Uh, you notice he's been hanging around that area for about 45 minutes and occasionally glancing in your direction. Mm. And in, in the last like five minutes or so, just started walking. Once Zero's like done with what they're doing, she's gonna like point this out to Zero and be like, Should, Do you want to go talk to them? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealth after this kid. Okay, Zero's are Zero's gonna hang around in the alley. Then. In, in the last fifteen minutes or so, you don't see him. Okay. So, so for done. the first forty-five minutes, he was there, uh, but then after that, he just stopped showing up. If I see he's walking away, can I um cast? What the fuck is that spell? Can I hunter's mark him so I can see where he's going? Uh what are the components of hunter's mark? I think it's just verbal and somatic, right? Yeah. No, just okay. verbal. Just yeah, you verbal. just okay. kind of squint at them. You just scream in their general direction and they're marked. There's uh, vis- wait, what's the V again? V- uh, verbal. Verbal. So you have to say something. Uh, you have to be able to speak to cast it, essentially. That's what that means. Are you trying to do this stealthily, or are you just going to just do it just there? I'm going to try and do it stealthily. Okay, make a stealth check. I you have to be like, within oh, like stealth? 60... Yeah, because you have to be within like 60 feet okay. of the guy. I think, if I remember the range correctly. I'm going to do... Wait, I guess I can't do guidance on this one. So I'll just be... Let's do it. <laughs> and I've been casting spells the whole time, so I'm not super worried. <coughs> okay. Um... So you try to stealth after him. You try. You need to get within sixty feet. Oh wait, am I stealthing after him, or that was to make a stealth so they wouldn't know that I cast a spell? You, you, well, you, he was probably like a hundred twenty-ish feet away. You're just sort of keeping an eye out. You're just through the alley, but he's just sort of back and forth, occasionally coming near-ish, but then going far-ish. And just you just see him constantly, essentially. But you have to be within sixty feet of him to cast Hunter's Mark. I think is the range on that. Yes. Okay. So I guess if once I I thought I could see him when I cast Hunter's Mark, and if he's going to move away, then I do want to do a, a stealth check after him. I thought I was rolling to see so that he couldn't tell that I was speaking to do a spell. Does that make sense? Did I do the right thing? No, this would be to, to to get within six feet of him without being noticed, essentially. Okay. I did not realize that. Because then wouldn't my boots count for advantage? It would, yeah, actually, yes. So you can roll again. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. I so in the it... last, like, 40 minutes okay. or so, um, you see it hit this fucking monk-looking kid just walk by, glance your direction, and leave again. Um, as you do, you sort of just slip through, just around the corner, just uh, just casually going wall to wall, crate to crate, just trying to stay out of sight. There's not a huge amount of people right now. It's starting to pick up a little bit. Um, but you do get within 60 feet, and you do cast Hunter's Mark. So for the next hour, you have advantage on tracking him, I believe? Yes. Okay, so you, by the time Zero finishes their shit, uh, you probably have like 40, 45 minutes left or so. All right. Want to go track this kid down? Yeah. All right. Would that be a survival? Uh, survival track to track? Yeah. Okay. With advantage. Do I get to add guidance to this as well? Uh, theoretically, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. With... Word. Nice. <clears throat> and I would like to stop after him. Oh, okay. yeah. Can I also add pass without, cast pass without trace on zero and I? Uh, they're both concentration, Hunter's Mark and Passive. Ah, okay, that's fine. I'll just do a regular stealth then. Okay. Do I get advantage because boots, though? Uh, theoretically, yeah. Okay. 
Well, it depends on give how me you spell a, it. Give me all I could. Give me all it, it depends yeah. on how you spell it. Are you trying to stay out of sight, or are you trying oh. to like blend in? I'm trying to not get noticed. <laughs> oh. Who's <laughs> laughing? <laughs> Okay. Not both. I mean, at the very least, critical fails on skill checks are in critical fails. You just get an eight, so it's not Chris, that bad. It makes it funnier if I make it like a critical fail, though. Oh my god. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's up to you. Zero's stressed out, so they're probably not doing too too hot right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just, Jenna, you're just you're just darting back and forth. You're doing that that like some like movie shit where like a, a cart. <laughs> rolls by with like hamburgers or something and then you just sort of duck behind it blend in just ducking behind the wheels so they don't get spotted and then zero sort of just sort of uh just hazed and just nothing and probably doesn't see the car and sort of just knocks it over <laughs> and then the guy just like looks at my cabbages and he starts like <laughs> picking up like and putting them into the carts uh, oh. i steal a cabbage next time i'm checked uh, with disadvantage because you're now noticed by a, a few people. So just roll again. You're fine. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> you somehow pocket like a head sized cabbage somewhere. You roll a four. Yeah, a four and a five, and still got these results. Unbelievable. Exper wow. Expertise in sleight of hand plus class of theory. That's what I love D and D. God. I rolled a one, so that's a fifteen. <laughs> Okay, but Zero, you are noticed by a few people. Jana, you're sort of, you sort of just walk a few feet ahead, not knowing who that is. Uh, <laughs> so you are theoretically unnoticed, but Zero, you're not in possession of like, <laughs> if you'd like to put that into your inventories. Absolutely. Getting all over my screen. Okay. Uh, how long are you going to follow this kid for? Just until the spell ends, or however long it takes? Or I guess, yeah, until... I guess however long it takes. I'll cast it exactly one more time if he doesn't end up somewhere in that 40 minutes. Okay, you just follow... You're, you're sort of shadowing probably about 120 feet away from him now, just to be out of uh, sight okay. sight. But, yeah. Uh, so spell check. Yeah, so you never really used Hunter's Mark in this way before. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I like, have. You see, I thought you must use it for like damage and stuff. I've no. We tracked the people in um. What was that city in Obethus? No, yeah, the the that one lady at Silverwind before we blew up the building. We tracked oh, her Obethus. back. To her house. Oh yeah, her. I forgot about her. The, the uh, that woman you decided to just follow back her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know that's not scary. Following a woman at night without me knowing. <laughs> this is the beginning of a home invasion. Okay, but this is uh, a little strange because uh, the streets in Abethus were sort of like, um, they're mostly cobblestone. Here, it's still cobblestone, but there's uh, elements of just sort of just dirt roads. Uh, just a few. There's a lot of like mud prints and stuff. Um, you see that on the track, on the ground, all around. Hello? Sorry, the music was just all jank for me. That's weird. <laughs> um, you see the what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you see the, 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 the tracks around you. There's a lot of footprints, a lot of mud, a lot of horse carts, a horse hooves, and like just cart, cart, Jesus, cart tracks. Um, but you see this like one set of footprints that seem to be a little bit deeper than the other ones. Uh, and it, it's these kids' footprints. They're, they seem to be sort of like almost. It, it, it's like putting too much drop shadow into like an, into a like a graphic like it just pops out way too much to be unnoticed but hmm. zero looks like just regular tracks but to you they stand out very very much uh so you follow this kid for like 30 45 minutes like pretty much the entirety of the duration and he's still going he's just going through alleyways through the streets just pretending to be just like some kid and then once he hits the alley he just straightens up and starts walking with purpose then once he once he hits like a popular thoroughfare again being some scared kid just swapping in and out of facades. Mm. You see him pickpocket a couple people on the way there. But he, he, you get the trend he's heading south. Like, very far south. I do um, want to keep following him. So I'll cast Hunter's Mark again. I want to see where this goes. Okay. Uh, make another self check to get within 60 feet of him. I'm going to switch songs, so this song is bothering me. 
it's like just like going in and out. Oh, stopping. fuck. Natty daddy. Yagi. You just erupt into shadow as your form dissipates and just erupts like five feet from you. You breathe down his neck and you whisper Hunter's bark in his ear. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> <notice. laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I also roll stealth to get closer? Okay. Holy oh. shit! Natty daddy is two. <laughs> oh, you get two daddies. <laughs> yeah, between the two of you, just phasing in and out of realities. Um, <laughs> yeah. This kid doesn't fucking spot you. He's a kid. Uh, I'm just going to use one of your tokens. I'll use... Yeah. Jarnarsh. Oh, that's a fun little snake pattern. Yeah. He doesn't take a roundabout route. There's the main path that goes straight down, but he just fucking he goes to weird places. Yeah, he goes out he goes to the outer wall. Like instead of going through the normal tunnel like most people would, he finds some hidden, almost looks like a uh, a building that's sort of sequestered into the uh, side of the that's sort of like built into the wall itself, and it seems to be pretty ramshackle, pretty abandoned. Uh, he goes into there and then just sort of uh, disappears into that building. Uh, you sort of just look inside that building and you see there's basically uh, a plank of wood or like um like a pallet almost that seems to be blocking like a hole. And you see, like, just a little bit of feet disappear before he moves the pallet back into place as he seems to be crawling through some sort of hole through the wall. Sorry, can you describe that again? I don't think I understood. So by the time you get here, the actual outer wall itself, uh, one of the okay. only entrances is through here. Mm. Like, that's pretty much the only entrance through that way. He doesn't take that way. He moved a pallet and moved the pallet back and somehow got through. There's like a building next, like uh, built into the wall itself. It's pretty, it's pretty ramshackle. He goes inside. Uh, you sort of follow after him as you look inside, just the sort of just shitty, like half rotted door. Uh, inside that building on the opposite wall from the door is a pallet. And he, in, behind the pallet is a hole, basically. He goes through the hole and moves the pallet back. Let's go down that rabbit hole, right? Hmm. Yeah, we already came this far. Move I mean, well, I don't really. Pallet. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's so sketchy. He was like, out? "What? What? Do you want to rip like, him out of there?" I mean, I think this is a tunnel. But yeah, like at any point, we can start confronting this kid. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I guess curious, like, we have advantage. Like we could go see if he's under. <gasps> Do you think this is the kid kid? We don't, we guess we don't know that. We don't know about that. Just kidding. Yeah, we we can't meta game. We're already meta game. Right? Um. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, I guess as he's like putting the pallet back, Zero is going to I guess break stealth, and I'd like to run on run in and like rip the pallet off and just rip the kid out of the fucking hole. Ah, uh, make that flutter strike. Ooh. Can Jana oh. see Zero start doing this and just kind of follow and like just understand like, what's happening and help? Can I assist? It, it's already been rolled before you said that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as Zero sort of just burst in through the door, uh, you, you rip the pallet uh, open and then you try to just reach in for the kid. Uh, but he's already like probably like three, four feet deep. Uh, so it's just a little bit out of your reach as he sort of just kicks you in the head. Not doing enough damage, but he sort of just scrambles through down this tunnel. Uh, with your dark vision, you can see that it goes pretty far. Um, How far is he? Uh, pro at this point, probably like 10, 15 feet or so. I'm going to cast Charm Person. Okay. Uh, what's your DC? Uh, 15. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you cast Charm Person, uh, and it takes. Uh, and then he sort of starts. He starts smiling, starts crawling towards you. But then, as he's sort of just crawling towards you, you see his eyes sort of flashes like bright orange. Oh. Uh, before his face turns back to like panic and starts crawling the other way again. Oh fuck! Um, how how close is he going to grab him again? Or can I try to grab him? And did he not really get too close? He he traveled like a foot before okay. he's, before that. Those you see that orange flash in his eyes. Fuck. Okay. Um. Uh, at this point, he's probably like just crawling, probably about like thirty feet away. Can did is like Jana is there though, right? They just couldn't help. Yeah. The first time, can she You're now there. try to grab the kid? He's far, I'm thirty feet away. That's what I'm asking. Like, where is she? <laughs> you are outside a hole right now, and the kid is thirty feet through a tunnel. Okay. Um, I don't feel like this is a regular ass kid, so I'm gonna hit him with an elder blast. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, might, I might have a child, but I mean, I'm scared. I mean, so. I mean, bring it back a Deirdre. She'll know what to do with a dead body. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you can get some information out of dead bodies. She knows a few tricks. Okay. Roll to attack. Oh. <laughs> uh, roll for damage. You also get another beam. Oh, I do. That's unfortunate for him. Mm-hmm. That hits. Oh, <laughs> I really wanted to just kill a child. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, God. Finish okay. him. You, you send two eldritch blasts inside, <laughs> and you and you see this kid sort of scrambling away, looking back, and you as you see him, one like hits right below the jaw, just sort of launching it away, and then the other one hits like right in the torso, sort of just blowing up like what left of his spinal cord. Uh, oh. you see, hear him sort of just <laughs> as he just lays still in a tunnel. <laughs> and he thought Chris was bad. Is he? No. <laughs> this all could have been avoided if you just grabbed Riley and got him to read his mind. You were not well, there. Well, guess who didn't you come? To come. <laughs> you didn't think to grab Riley. You miss you the guys. kid? No. No one's here. Shut up. Back. You guys aren't here. Shut up. Everyone shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I just killed the kid. Everyone shut up. Only Jenna knew. I just look at Jenna. Um, he might not <laughs> be dead. Just 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 grab him out. Jenna's going to see like a fucking explosion in the tunnel. And just kind of be like, is everything okay down there? <laughs> oh my god. How is the tunnel big enough for Zero to comfortably crawl in? Or are they going to be like squished? Uh, not comfortably, but you can crawl through it. I'm going to look at Jenna. <laughs> Is it like what's the look like? Happy? Like, help, Are you like, happy about me. this? Like, help me. Oh, Jana's gonna come help. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can we do our rope thing again that we tried to do last time? Can I tie the rope around your waist? The rope thing. Yeah, tie the rope around your waist and send you into the tunnel so you don't get hurt or anything. I can pull you back out. Maybe I don't understand what's happening. How I'm sending you tunnel? into the tunnel. The tunnel's 30 feet in. He's he's deep in there. I can't. Okay. I, yeah. Sure. Will you, that. will you go? Okay. And then I'm what I'm grabbing this kid and pulling him out. Is that what's yes. happening? Josie, do you want to make like a map for you? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So, I'm spatially okay, challenged. No, it's okay. It's okay. So <laughs> this is the ground, right? Uh, these are you two, right? So this is a horizontal view. I thought this was a horizontal tunnel. I think that's what I'm confused about. It is. It is a horizontal tunnel. So. So this is the building, right? Okay, and this was the big wall that is connected to. I'm put. I'm drawing on the right. Uh, this is the pallet, sort of leaning on there, and this was the tunnel. And this kid is there. Okay. Why can't Janice crawl in like normal and grab him and pull him out? I mean, you can't. I'm saying I was going to tie the rope around your waist in case something funky happens and you need help and I can't go okay. in there fast enough. But if you let's don't want do the that, rope, then. I don't want to do the rope. No, that's okay. fine. We can do the rope. Okay. Sounds like Zero wants to do the rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Zero wants to make this a BDSM podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you crawl in a rope tied around your waist as Zero. You're just uh, worried that you may have just killed the child. Uh, okay, so Jenny, you crawl through. Um, it's basically it's just like a a stone tunnel, but the ground is just sort of dirt. Like it looks like it's been carved through, just little by little. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to the kid. Um, you see there is a gaping wound where his back used to be. And oh. uh, his jaw was uh, hit in such a way that it almost got crushed inward up towards his brain. And like there's like an exit wound at the top of his head. Uh, oh, sorry. T- I was going to ask to see if I could like take his pulse. But if there's like a... His brain, <laughs> he's he's fucking like, dead. If, yeah, he got... Take a fucking yeah, bullet dead. to the brain. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's gone. Okay. Well... She's gonna. Can I like at this point make a perception check to see if I can? I bet it's dark. Can I see anything further down the tunnel from this point? Uh, from this point, you do see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm sure the kid went to it. <laughs> Zero's gonna shout from the from my end of the tunnel. Is he okay? Um, I mean, I'm um, now he is. Like, I'm sure he's peaceful now. <laughs> Actually, she's not going to say anything back, just knowing that uh, there could be someone at the end. She's just going to grab the kid, like, tug on the rope, say, like, pull pull me back. Okay, I, I pull her back. Okay. Um, with some effort and some time, you manage to pull Jana back. Uh, first, Jana emerges, followed by the uh, just eviscerated corpse of a child. Oh, my God. Um, can Jana go <laughs> back down the tunnel? Wait, first, can I loot the kid? I want to, like, not loot. Oh him. my what, god! What does he have on him? <laughs> Is there any strange objects on the kid that seems out of the ordinary? Uh, it would be out of ordinary for him to have uh, 56 gold, three silver pieces, and a uh, sort of like a like a silver ring with like a jade attached to it. Oh no! Does it look like the mm. Luca ring that we used to no, have? It doesn't. Mm. It just it looks like a fancy ring. But you also do remember seeing him pickpocket a bunch of people on the way. Right. She's gonna take the ring though. That that could be normal jewelry, but she's gonna go get that checked by the Atme brothers later, just to be sure. Can I also take that gold and just put it in the community? He, sure. he, they're not gonna use it. How much gold. money is that again? 56 gold, and I think I said 7 silver pieces. Um, hold on, I can't do basic math. I have a calculator macro built into rule 20. I also have one on my phone, which is... <laughs> how much? Okay, so I got the gold in. What was the <laughs> other money? 7 silver. Seven sil- 8 <laughs> plus 7 equals 15. <laughs> And that's it? And then the rain? Yeah, the rain. Okay, she's going to pocket the rain. Let me add that to my inventory. What's the description on that? Silver rain? with Silver rain with, I think I said, uh, yeah, I think I said uh, jade, 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 yeah. I think it was green stone. Okay. Zero's going to stare at the kid for a minute, and then they're going to turn around and throw up. Okay. You Jana see a bunch of like half chewed carrots. Half chewed carrots and mashed potatoes exit your body. Tight. Jana's gonna go to zero and be like, there that tunnel is leading somewhere. At this point, do you want to go check it out? I mean, I guess so. What should we do with the kid? Uh, can we just like hide him behind some pallets or something? Is this like a this, warehouse? It's not a warehouse. It's it's a very, very small building. It's <clears throat> think of like your like regular like garden shack. It's basically that. It's it's like okay, maybe like a at shed. most. It's like yeah, it's like a shed. It's like fifteen feet long, maybe about ten feet wide at most. Is there like a chair? <clears throat> no, it's it's completely barren except for the pallet and the door. Well, well, I guess we'll just set them up in the corner. There's not much else <laughs> we can do at this exact moment. Unless you want to 
weekend at Bernie and we pretend like this kid is still <laughs> alive and we send him down the tunnel first. <laughs> you got sunglasses? You guys are going to hell. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll follow Janet down the tunnel. Okay. All right, well, that's happening. How nice of you to let me go first. <laughs> <laughs> Please clear the viscera out of the way. Huh. Uh, Riley and Chris, what you doing? I'm keeping my eye on Chris. <laughs> um. Okay. As Riley sits across from the tail from you, looking at you like Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. I would like to do a staring contest. I would not like to. <laughs> okay. Chris, you are doing the staring contest and Riley is not. <laughs> you win so much. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You well, just don't have to do anything if you have nothing to do. Well, I mean, it's there they've been gone suspiciously a long time. I don't know how long it takes to look at a poster. (laughs) Your point being? Should we go and look for them? See, I see what you're doing here. You're sowing the seeds of discomfort in my mind. (laughs) I see your game plan, and I'm not about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty discomforting here. I'll think about how I feel. I want to be out there right now. But I gotta look at you and make sure you don't do anything stupid. The stupidest thing we can do right now is leave. I'm gonna teleport out of the place. (laughs) (laughs) That fucking idiot. Using Dimension Door or what? Yeah. Okay. Where are you teleporting to? Which direction and how far? I'm teleporting um... Out in front of the, like outside the 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 inn, like out, okay. like right outside the front door. Okay, so rather you see as you see those words filled with just spite and annoyance as Chris just looks at you with like blank doe eyes, <laughs> as like this Count, Count Dracula cloak <laughs> full, as he just disappears into a puff of stardust. <laughs> what is a man but a miserable pile of chaos? It is a man. <laughs> What a little pile of secrets. Chris, you just How you? <laughs> Don't belong in this world, monster. <laughs> Die, Chris, you monster. Just, so, you don't belong in this world. Chris, you just appear at the, at the outside the inn. Uh, at this point, it's seven in the morning. It's not too busy still. There's some people there that witness you just erupt. <laughs> uh, I'm the one with the map of the E point in. Looked like I don't think there's a window that far from Riley. Riley, make him a seven joke. Sure. Do, 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 do. First roll of the night. It's going to be shit. Yeah. No, fucking Chris just, just dipped, yo. I'm running after him. <clears throat> okay, you, you just you run out the front door. Um, Chris, what you doing? Uh, I I wanted to stealth, like uh, stealth towards um, towards the poster area, like where they would post things about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. So first, make a stealth check. <laughs> poster Ooh. area. Yeah. Well, then right, how long is it? Open uh, at this point uh, for you. Well, this is, I assume, after an hour, so, yeah, well, I'll just okay. yeah. So, uh, you just attuned to that over a short rest, right? Yeah, but we will get to you soon. Because if, if they're just finish at this point, she's just going to be at the bar, just watching this all go down, just, like, kind of just like, okay. Not going to do anything about it. Okay. Just none of her business. Sure. Um... Yeah, rather you burst open the door and you see nothing. You see the uh, you, see, you see the thoroughfare that you can point in and sort of just rest on top of a hill. People are starting to like, wake up and get back to work. Uh, Chris, where do you think posters will be posted? <laughs> um, probably at... the poster district. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the main um, what's it called? The uh... The 
um, where uh, C is. I mean, not C. Uh, B. Black Harbor and Blinken Cogworks District. Uh, the. I guess the rail guard is Barrick. Of, there's, uh, that's an area. Yeah. Okay, so you start heading south as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you sort of duck behind, like, you're not even that greatly stealth. You sort of just, like, threw yourself over a bunch of barrels, like, next to the, uh, like, like just right outside the door as Riley bursts through and doesn't spot you. <laughs> what would Riley do in this situation? Uh, has Riley seen wanted posters in here? I don't think so. Maybe uh, not that you've seen. Yeah, no. So I wouldn't even know where to look. Or not that you've been paying attention to. There's a couple of options, maybe, but. All right. Well, time to get out my trusty old make a decision for me thing. Um. Your dice set that you probably have. Yeah. Okay. Um. In that case. Hmm. Okay, this is what I'll do. Yeah, I'm going north. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Uh, Damn, any so specific like direction you're heading split. to? Uh, to the uh, the jailhouse, the Black Harbor. Yeah. Black Harbor. Cool. Why do you guys all have different colors? It's weird. Whatever. Okay, so you start making way north. Yep. All right, so you guys split the party in. Four, I think. Leaving yeah. poor, poor Deirdre to have the bar. Uh, Georgie was can... there too. And Georgie was there, I guess. But does he count as a person? Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. You. <laughs> <laughs> Tell just of like six or something. Barely sentient. Uh, Barely. I uh. hate this party. Um, <laughs> cool. Where are you tuning to this thing? Wait, what? Where are you? Yeah, where are you tuning? Are you tuning up in the bar? Or are you just tuning in your room? I, I would be tuning in my room. Okay. Sure. So, Jenna hands you the before Jenna hands you the Apotheos crystals, the sort of dull, uh, diamond-shaped crystal about a foot long or so. Um, please join me in the Sneaky Beak channel, Jessica. Oh, excellent! Wow, wow, wow. Remember when I said like something bad was happening <laughs> there? Oh, oh no! Maybe Azik's death was just the beginning, and now Sorry. we have become the cast of a series of unfortunate events. Damn! So we're like, like split, splitting the party, huh? Like we're all gonna die. Okay. Hey, I didn't do yeah. anything. <laughs> you Chris did. Ran, Chris was the one who ran off. You ran of course, off. I'm gonna go after. Him. That's, yeah, that's I, I ran point. off after him. Of he course, know where Riley. To go. Yeah, yeah, Riley has no fucking clue where to go. Oh god, this isn't my fault. Deirdre is gonna be the only living member of the party, and she's not even a part of the original party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and Giorgio, excuse me. Hold on a second. Well, are you oh, that? Oh, he hearing? might not that be. That's dark. Either. That's dark. This oh, the, he went straight. Wait, I got one okay. more. I got one more resummoning of Giorgio. He, he's he's fine. He probably is not fine, but like, this isn't the end. The end. Holy I fuck! Like that he music. went straight. <laughs> 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 I mean, Giorgio also has like a really fucked up past, right? Of like being a ghost and shit. So I doubt it's like. I doubt it's bad. Her general energy is just like you know death anyway. So that's fine. Yeah, it's it's probably sense. fine. <laughs> Wait, where does uh, uh, as it come from? I mean, he's a uh, he's um, a fiend, so I guess hell. I guess a, a little demon servant. Well, I maybe he's been called upon by something. That's what I was thinking earlier. Maybe like something just happens here. To complain, and but he's just I have been summoned back. Merrick's, Merrick's thing. <gasps> oh, I that's interesting. I don't think so. I don't know. I think it's because Azza got fucking poofed, and then we all, yeah. Something's I bad. I think it's because of the kit, I think. 
the kid was doing something. And he's obviously not a normal ass kid because of the eye thing, but like. And, and then he fucking just dispelled I don't, I my magic. I think he was getting possessed, though. So I think so. Something happened that caused Azek to poof. Something happened magic-wise, I think, was canceling magic. Because when he tried to charm person, he immediately, like, snapped out of it. Like, it worked, and then it didn't. Really quickly. So he has something on him that I feel like stops spells, you know? Yeah. Now that Simon's on here and we can metagame, <laughs> um, should we bring the kid... <laughs> Should we bring the kid back to Deirdre? She has like a resurrection. That was a, yeah. How are we gonna bring a dead kid's corpse across town? Though? Like we are very far. We can we can bring her when it gets dark or something. We can put her in the bag of holding okay. and sneak her in there. Because if we no, if we <laughs> we I mean like, we like, gotta find Chris. The problem now. Yeah, that's true. If Chris gets arrested again, that's it, dog. Yeah, yeah. We'll we got here. you out once. We gave yeah. you several warnings, and yet you refused to hear them. <laughs> hey, if anyone's scared to get arrested, it should be zero. <laughs> Me? I didn't do anything. You just yeah, killed a child. Just, they yeah, can't prove know. anything! Nobody saw! <laughs> Janet's not gonna snitch. It's true. This is Misty, interesting, too, though. Misty is okay with it, because honestly, I feel like that kid wasn't really a kid. Um, J Josie could be right about the thing that like he was like being possessed or something. Oh, but Zero is torn up about it. Absolutely, Zero is like disgusted with themselves right now. Yep, makes sense. Makes um, this cool. is not in character, but I think it'd be funny if I guess it's not funny, but like <laughs> that used to be you, Zero. Like you used to be a little street. <laughs> oh kid my kid. god! You just killed like another little street kid. <laughs> You're making How does that feel in your stomach? Probably not <laughs> oh good. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Zero's not gonna sleep tonight. Oof. Damn. They try to do, like, one kind of bad thing, and then they always just fuck up, and it's, like, a terrible, awful thing. Like, like when I was trying to kill, what's his name? Uh, Slippery Zachary, and then I, like, ripped his soul out of his oh, body. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm it's just- I gotta be right back. It is freezing, I need to change the temperature. Okay. I like how the dark music is portraying the situation. How we're yeah. split up and then you guys killed a kid. And now Deirdre is doing something supernatural. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything to like about that. Chaos? <laughs> no. Chris is gonna get arrested. Like I'm positive yeah, he's about dead it. Dead ass. Dead ass. He's, <laughs> he's, he's dead. He's not. Yeah, he's not lasting this at all. Yeah. There's no chance. A tall blue wizard teleporting across the city in the middle of the day. Yeah, nah, dude. No, he fucked. Yeah. Man, they've been in there a long time now. The darkness. The chalkness. And back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Me and Bowen were talking about how Chris is like 100% probably going to get arrested again. Yeah. Yeah. This is where you have enough money this to bail yourself out. <laughs> uh, this is the end of the Zodiacs. I'm going straight Honestly. to the barracks. Yeah, you are barracks to the guard barracks. To the barracks with Merrick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Simon knows if the rest of us can hear the music right now. Because he's probably I mean, putting this up. Game. 
yeah he's he's putting this up obviously he changed it deliberately which means that yeah, he's active. i think he knows there's yeah. only so much he can do yeah what if so, something not bad is happening and he just did it this so we make him make, like we think something's bad happening next level i think BF some trolling i think something bad is happening though <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> the party is split <laughs> oh we're fucked <laughs> I think this is the most split we've been since the beginning. Yeah, we've never had individuals run off. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why is it spooky? Oh, no reason. It is <laughs> spooky, fuck. Well. So that was um, a lot of uh, paranoia. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. Cool beans. Cool. Uh, Did someone just throw up? What? I sound like someone threw up in the background. Zero. (laughs) (laughs) Zero vomit all over themselves again. Speaking of zero and Jana and vomit, um,. We in that tunnel. Mm-hmm. You in that tunnel. Um, it continues for probably about like 120 feet, 200 feet ish. Uh, it's, it's not perfectly straight. There's some curves and stuff, but a, like a sliver of light does peek through eventually. Um, you guys crawl through zero. You have to get on your hands and knees and sc- like almost army crawl through, uh, through dirt and also blood as Jen had to drag that corpse out of there. <laughs> So you're just sort of eating facefuls of dirt right now. Um, half soaked with blood. Um, you guys eventually make it to the other side. No issues. Um, you see that it... Uh, you arrive into like a similar building, but this time there's like a window. Um, the window's been long, long shattered. Uh, it's not even like a glass window. It's like a, one of those swing-out windows with like the wooden doors. I don't know what they're called. Um, but like, those doors have basically just all but fallen off. There's like a few splinters left. Um, the door seems to be barred up, though. Um, but that's where the light was coming through. Is there anything in the room? Um, you had to move another pallet. Other than that, not really. Oh, can you move another pallet? Yeah, you, be, you have to move a pallet to get out, but yeah. Oh, it's the same like we just came in? <laughs> yeah, it's almost, it's almost like identical. Okay, it's, n- it's not another pallet. Okay. Uh, it's, it's another pallet blocking your way out on the other side of the tunnel. Um, otherwise, oh, it looks like, okay. it, it's it's like it's like a it's like a very similar building. The mirror image of like the one we just came out of. Pretty much, it's, there's some difference, the differences, but other otherwise functionally the same. Can we like can I can Jana take a little stealthy sneak out the window to see what she can see? Okay, so you just sort of just um, peek out the window. Um, it seems to be the other side of the wall. But, like, no one's, like, immediately on the other side, you know? No. Okay. Well. Yeah, you're just sort of, like, tucked into an alleyway of sort of equally decrepit buildings, but. Well, I think this was just, uh, like, shortcut. I don't think this was their destination. So maybe we should head back at this point. I don't know where else we would go from here. Yeah. What do we want to do with the kid's body? I think we should tuck him back in the tunnel, maybe like five feet or so, not too deep in, so we can pull him back out. But I want to cover the entrance with the pallet again, and maybe we can bring Deirdre back and see what we can do about this. Okay. We do that. Okay. And I would like... I want a stealth home. Yeah. Sure. Can I, now that Hunter's Mark, I guess, is gone, can I cast Pass Without Trace? You may. Cool. Uh, both you make stealth checks. <laughs> oh. Wow. We Again, add a 10 no. to that. <laughs> Technically, you team, Technically. It's two not ones. On stealth, though. Your forte. Yeah. 
It's my favorite. Color. I thought the forte was stealth, stealth, or um, sleight of hand. Stealth forte means hand. loud. That was for you, Chris. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Piano forte. Uh, okay, so you guys make your way. You make your way back. Um, zero to sort of out of it, having <coughs> kill a kid. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, and Jenny, so you you uh, you see zero sort of just like drifting from place to place, stealthing, but occasionally faltering as you sort of correct their movement a little bit. But uh, eventually, make your way back. Oops, that's that's Chris. He's still he's still fucking around there. <laughs> Just you, re- you reading that thing I sent you? Yeah, I just read through it, and I I love this. This is so good. The, the theme of this campaign is throwing the power balance out of whack. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love he gave me something really fucking good, but changed to make it twice as good. Yeah, knowing what you can do, fucking. Go kill Tiamat right now. Uh, <laughs> right now? You can take it. I, maybe. With the tools I gave you. Whoops. Yeah. Um, I really should have waited for you to actually be into comic counter so I can see how exactly overpowered this is going to be. But hey, mm-hmm. it's a thing. It does require attunement. So. Mm-hmm. And I did attune to it. You did. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, so. Uh, Okay, so Riley making the way upwards. Hi. Cool. Are you stealthing there or are you just going to walk? No, I'm running because I'm like panicked. I need to find Chris. Okay. Uh, make an athletics check. So see how, um, how much Usain you have in your bolt. All right. Well, either I am become speed or I'm going to fucking fall flat on my ass. Now, where is athletics? Oh, another 12. Okay. You, you run like an average person. All right. You run like um like a like a sports day at school. Okay. Uh, you don't get there marginally faster, but you get there. I'm looking for posters and looking for any signs of a blue elf man. Okay, make a perception check. Okie dokie. Do 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 perception. Okay. Um, no blue elf man. Uh, you actually do see a couple blue elf men, but they're not Chris. They're just, they're just guys. Um, for posters, uh, it takes a little bit. You didn't see them originally when you first came here, but they're because they're just around the corner. I uh, went the other way. Um, but talking to the receptionist, uh, there are wanted posters here. Um, just looking at them, you don't see uh, yourselves. You see a couple. Just it seems like what like bandits or like pirates or something or something like fucking uh like like Tom Nine Fingers Jones, uh like Lost in Smoke the Air Pirate. It's it's a lot of there's a lot of shit like that. But no one that you recognize. That's interesting. Kind of expected there would have been. Uh in that case, um what even is there to do at this point? Do you notice that the energy here is more frantic? If that makes sense? But that's, I mean, I was present for the ship thing before, right? Yeah, so you gather yeah. that's probably why. Right. Because normally uh, there's like there's like two, three guards here. There's probably about eight right now. and They're all looking around. There's a bunch of people in there. A couple of us looks like people with notepads, like writing notes. There's a, like a person in the side doing an interview. Uh, there's, it, there's a lot of people here. Uh, didn't I catch the name of the thing? Because I read a guard's mind. You did. What was the name again? Uh, Sunny. All right, okay. I'm going to ask a receptionist, so what's the situation with the sunny thing? Uh, as you say that, um, there's, the, the accident is being taken care of. Um, we, we're sending out uh, ships to clear out the wreckage. Um, don't worry, sir. Everything will be back to order soon. Oh, I'm not worried for me, but I'm certainly worried for the state of this. You seem to be in a bit of a tizzy. It's, well... 
the explosions don't happen. This is the first one ever, as far as I'm aware. Um, so it's, it's, it's a bit of a strange situation, but um, as assured, the Black Harbor God's Post is handling it. Hmm. Well, I'll be out of the city by tomorrow morning anyway, so I suppose I won't further inquire. Okay, so you're going to leave? Yep. Thanks for your time. Uh, what the hell does Riley want to do now? He didn't uh, see Chris there. Oh, sorry, have you seen a blue elf man? Maybe in a bit of a, a rush, perhaps? I don't know. Um, doesn't ring the bell, I'm sorry. All right. Um, uh, what would I really do? Um, let's visit my old friend Indecision. Okay. Do you leave the building? Yeah. And okay. now... So uh, as you leave the building... Oh, shit. Never mind. Well, I'll keep that uh, in mind. You see, like, one of those people who are writing notes was, like, keeping a tab on you the entire time. Uh, as you leave the building, sort of chase you. It's like, oh, wait there. Wait there, buddy, old pal. Um, I heard you said something about a Sunny character. Uh, could this be Sunny the Heartbreaker? The, the, the sort of, like, orphan child? Uh, is, is, is that what you're talking about? Is this God in Grants? No. Okay. He's, he seems to be, he seems to be like, a, like a human, human, like, God in Grants, but he's much older. Um, yeah, it's like, he has sort of, like, this douche goatee. It's sort of like, oh. just like this weird auburn color, and his hair is like uh, slicked back messily. Um, he's wearing some sort of like suit. Pant. Sorry, you were speaking a little fast there. Can I get you to repeat that? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, my name's uh, Lannon Larry. But Larry, okay. Go yeah, I'm, on. I'm trying to report on the uh, the uh, sort of explosion that happened there. Uh, people are just, everyone's calling it an accident, but I don't think so. Uh, I heard you mentioned Sunny. Uh, would it be? Would you mind if I uh, gave you a interview? I'm gonna stop you right there, sir. I know about as much as you do. I overheard some guard saying the name Sunny, and so I inquired about it, and uh, I was given basically a non-answer. So uh, there's nothing I can tell you. Right. Uh, sorry to bother you. Um... No, no. You're a reporter. It's your job, and I'm saving you time. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go during day. Uh, have a good day, sir. Likewise, and good luck with the scoop. I'd like to see what's going on as well. I checked the Sylvia newspaper. That's what I write for. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, and he goes back to pestering the guard that he was trying to, like, fucking drill for information. Who looks very annoyed. Yeah, he had, like, a, he had a look of relief as he left, and then, like, a look of just dread as he came back. Sucks to be a guard. Okay, what you doing? Um, I'm going back to the inn. Okay. Sure, you make your way back. Yep. All right. You make your way, eventually make your way. You're making your way. Uh, Chris, what you doing? Um, well, am I at the the barrack yet? The rail guard barrack? Uh, if you get there, yeah, eventually. It okay. Takes it, takes, it takes a while, but you eventually get there. Um, I'm just going to look around for posters in that. Okay, make up something check. Okay. Um, yeah, just from like a cursory glance, there is a, there's not a train in, actually there is a train here, what the fuck? Okay, there is a train here. You actually got here around the time a train comes in, actually. There's a train here. <laughs> uh, there's people offloading and then, um, uh, offloading and then offloading onto the train. Uh, just people going in and out. Um, you see only outside of the barrack there are one posters. Not a huge amount, but there are, no, none of them are you. They're basically identical to one that Bradley found. I know that, but, you know, same people like... Um, Lars the Bandit Earl. There's just it's just a lot of gruff looking dudes on posters. A couple weird figures, but no one you recognize. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I see any like interesting people coming off the train? 
Uh, interesting is a subjective word. There's people that are dressed weirdly. People. Okay. Um, like people, they're they're dressed in like altus attire, like Victorian London era stuff. Um, a lot of those people, a lot of merchants offloading in and out, a lot of wares being offloaded in and out. Um, okay. Yeah, they they take weird looks at you as a uh, tall blue elf guy with a hat, golden knee pads. I'm assuming you're still pantsless and shirtless. Um, pretty much. <laughs> there we go. Really should be arrested hmm. for public indecency, but whatever. <laughs> One of those like sumo thongs is all you got. Hmm. Well, I guess at this time, if I'm not really seeing anything at these at the barrack, um, I guess I'm gonna try and look for a magic shop. Okay. Um. Sure. Make an investigation check. Okay. Um, you start asking some people, some people from the train, some guards just around. Um, all weird looks, but they generally point you towards the academy. There seems to be like a uh, some sort of guild there that sells magic stuff. Okay. I guess I'm going to head over there. Sure. Okay. So you're making your way over there. Okay. Yeah. Weather's kind of weird. Weather's um not looking hot. It's still uh, there's still elements of just like rain or like the cl overclassed. I think I said that last time I wave. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like rain's going to be coming in. So you start making your way out. Cool. Sure. Um. At some point around here, um, you feel something in your pockets. Oh, really? Where, where your coin pouch would be. Um, I'm going to check it. Okay. Uh, you see a child, probably about 12, 13 or so. Uh, he's fishing through your coin pouch right now. He grabs a fistful and starts running into an alley. I, I'm gonna, can I cast hold person on him? <laughs> oh, God. Two children died today. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're in the middle of a public thoroughfare. You want to cast hold the person? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your DC? Um, okay. 16. Never mind. Natural 20. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, so he, he makes it about 20 feet. You cast a spell. He looks back, and he sort of just gives you the middle finger and starts running into an alley out of sight. <laughs> um, I'm going to run after him. Okay. So you run after him. Uh, he's, he's faster than you. He's fucking... He's running, yo. Uh, he sort of looks at you, like, running after him, not expecting this big hulking nerd guy to chase after him. He turns, <laughs> he turns to the right, and he disappears behind that as well. Um, can I keep following him? Yep. He turns right and then he hits like a dead end. It almost looks like a, um, uh, almost like a back alley area, like a back, like storage area. He's just looking okay. around, just like looking a bit panicked. He starts backing to the corner. This kid picked the wrong pocket. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to him. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you start walking to the sort of like a uh, sort of back alley area. Uh, he's looking like 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 a, almost like a, a scared animal trying to look for an escape. Um, you hear this before you hear this before you see this as a bunch of yellow gas surrounds you. 
Uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. God, okay. this is so foreboding. Okay, so as as the sort of like this yellow mist or whatever erupts around you, the kid's just has this face of emotionlessness and he just stands up and looks at the corner. As you see walking from the shadows, a tall man wearing a snake mask. No. Oh. Oh. Uh... Hey, remember I okay. said like two hours ago? <laughs> The kid sort of just walks around and sort of looks up at this tall figure clad in black. As the figure sort of just says, Tell Sunny that he has my regard. As the kid sort of looks at you as his or, uh, eyes flash orange, the kid sort of just looks up. He already knows. As suddenly he takes a bunch of coins uh, from. Uh, the assassin that's been coming after you, along with your coin, and it's just, just climbing up a wall out of sight. Uh, you try to hold your breath, but you inhale because cause your lung is just fighting for whatever oxygen is left in this sort of thick, just yellow miasma. Uh, when you do, the gas fills your lungs, and like a million pinpricks have just stabbed into your muscles, locking them in place. You are paralyzed. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, even though you're... Oh, you can't no. move. You can still hear and see, though blinking is difficult right now. Can I speak? Uh, not really. No, you, you try to speak. You just, you just, it just guttural sounds. It's like you just your muscles just seizing. Like you can barely breathe. Okay. As the sort of this snake clad figure just sort of walks up to you. <laughs> uh, what do you think of my venom? The glands of the Pictaris Majority Viper can paralyze anything from the smallest rat to the largest elephant. The beauty of it, the beauty of it, is that no matter how much venom it pumps into its prey, it doesn't kill it outright, only paralyze us. That leaves us some time to have a little fun together. He sort of just runs his fingers across your face. I have chosen you as the first sacrifice to the Great Mother. Be honored for that. As he pulls out a dagger, it's serrated, like almost like a saw, but it's also wickedly curved, almost like a sickle. It's this weird, grotesque instrument of dissection. He puts it around your throat. The doctor will see you now. Uh, oops. You take 51 points of damage. Oh. Oof. Would have been rested by that point, right? Yeah. Okay. You took a long rest on a Okay. You're still alive. Yeah, I am. Ooh. Okay. Uh, he sort of looks at you as like you're bleeding and you're not, and you don't have the muscles to stop it. I make a con another Constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. You try to fight it. You have enough muscle power to 
clog your throat to stop you from bleeding out immediately. <laughs> More resilient. Here I pegged you for the weakest that's the flock. But I believe you undid my work. Let me admire you more. Cutting out a lot, Simon. I have my sensitivity high up. Oof. Hold on, I'm just... I'll eat the microphone real quick. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of just... Oh, he goes, Let me admire my work for a little bit. As he sort of unhands... Uh, your hand from your throat, causing you to bleed out even more as he shoves his dagger further into his throat, into your throat. Oh no! That's a lot of ones. Uh, you take thirty-seven points of damage. Okay, I'm I'm dead at this point. Hey guys, maybe we shouldn't split the party. Okay. So as he sort of just pushes his almost sickle-like dagger through your throat, you can feel it tearing through your muscles, every nerve. It sort of you feel it skirt past your vertebra, like scraping through the bone, and it punctures through the other side. Uh, as your eyes sort of roll back as you go unconscious, he sort of just looks deep deep into your eyes as he sort of unmasks himself, revealing this almost feminine, almost androgynous face. Um, dark skin. Uh, as he, and like I think he's a half-elf. Yeah. As he sort of looks deep in your eyes, as you, all you see is just black and the sight of his sort of piercing green eyes just staring into you as you eventually fade into nothing. The last thing you see before you fall completely unconscious, the last thing you hear is him just humming a tune as he sort of just walks out of the alley with you bleeding out on the floor. What is that a reference to? It's on the tip of my tongue. Those some are war fucking, dogs. Some fucking... No, I stole from somewhere. What's everybody else doing, guys? <laughs> Good night, sweet Chris. <laughs> I'm admiring my skull ball. Well, can we get some Fs in the chat for Chris? What the fuck? I'm not effing. I fucking told him. I told him to stay put. He didn't listen. He paid the price. Yeah. Well, I'm still heading wait, back to the end. <laughs> wait, am I yeah. um, completely dead or am like... You're dead dead. I am? Good night, Chris. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Zero hit points, no one around you. Eventually, you're going to fail three death saving throws. Uh, if the dude leaves in there, if you succeed on three death saving throws, you will stabilize in an hour. Okay. Just make, just keep making saving throws until something happens. Just keep on making saving throws? Sure. Okay. See if you get lucky. Oh, that's a success. That's oh. A success. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my boy. god. Are you serious? <laughs> this guy just fucking learn? leaves him there? <laughs> oh my god. When will we learn Chris's actions don't have consequences? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, this 
This is bad planning on the snake dude's part. Like, <laughs> you make sure oh, somebody's oh, dead. <laughs> okay, now that Chris is dead, I'm gonna post this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How long do you think it's going to take Chris to realize that Chris is missing? Riley already knows Chris is missing. He's yeah. Like, not there. What is He's it? not back at the tavern by the time Riley gets back. He's going to keep fucking looking. Oh my god. I need to fucking. How long does he go? If, if... I, it's like 1d4 hours or something. I think what just wakes up with a hit point. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh fuck that's in. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, one to four hours. Hmm. I rolled a one on one hour. <laughs> he just stops up fuck fucking I went up. Hey, whatever. So wait a second, you're telling me that Chris is living with one hit point right now. Yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> I have one hit point. Well, I think you're at zero, though, right? Like, you're not up. Yeah, after another you're hour, not, you're gonna be up yeah. with one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not so totally. fucking lucky. Yeah. He could have, like, just beheaded you, that and that would have been it. it. Yeah. God. You don't roll like that. Oh my fucking god. He's an idiot. He's not lucky. He's Leaves him to bleed idiot. out in an alley. He did it oh. for the style and it's gonna fucking get him killed. He's an idiot. It's not about winning. It's about sending a message and he sent one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did he cut any of Chris's like ear like body parts off? Or did I just <laughs> Was I thinking Reservoir Dog, so I think he doesn't have ears anymore. Does Crystal have all of his ears? Uh, he's Please missing his no. trachea, basically. Wait, what's your trachea? Your throat? Yeah. <laughs> that little yeah. Oh, throat. is I'm he gonna... Is it, it, just like is it insensitive to, like, make... Is he gonna have one of those, like, smoker things? Like, those whole box <laughs> things? <laughs> I used to be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> and remember the commercial? Fuck that commercial. Oh my fucking god. I mean, they're trying to heal you, but. Okay, so I guess who gets back to the inn first? Uh, that would be Jenna and. And Zero. I take it I'll just gonna. It's just gonna be Giorgio there? <laughs> it's just Giorgio and Deirdre that are there. Yeah, Deirdre's just sitting at the bar staring at her own skull. Uh, we're gonna get back and be like, where the fuck is everyone? Oh, uh... Uh, Chaos Boy left, and the other one ran after him. Dana's gonna, like, put her head, her head in her hands. Zero's gonna sit down at the bar. Is Ran in there, or no? Uh, right now, he's not. Okay, um, I'm gonna use Mage Hand to reach over the bar, and if I can get a bottle of liquor, I'm gonna take it and just start drinking. Can you grab me one too? Yeah, I'll grab a bottle for Janet too. Yeah, straight from the bottle. Mm, rough day. Joe just like stares at you and looks back. Deirdre never like looks at you. She's she's just sitting at the bar, holding her own skull in front of her and staring into it. Well, since the other two are MA, do you want to go get Deirdre to look at the thing? In the middle of the I mean, we, yeah, we can in the... We can state. go later, I guess. I don't know when we want to address it. Can I get a little... You need me for something? First? I'm gonna get a little drunk first. Okay. Hmm. We'll fill you one when we're ready. I think we're still coping. Okay. There has Anything a very fun happen here? Uh, my arm of the chosen is my own skull. What does that mean? I hold up my own skull. Do you want to like look a little bit closer to, into it? 
I gaze into the abyss of the skull. Okay. Uh, uh, what you really to... get at is a swarm of maggots and a bunch of flies inside his, inside the skull. And it's kind of When's like the last time you cleaned this? <laughs> Literally, like, four hours ago. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, you did a shit job. <laughs> no. These are the symbols of my god. Were the, like, the rest taken? Was this all that was left? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's being a little bit disrespectful to other people's religions. I'm like, uh, half. I guess I don't know how far I'm into my bottle of liquor myself. I get angry. That's how heavy you want to drink. What? I want to drink a bit. That's how heavy you want to drink. I don't think I'm going as hard as zero, but it's been a day. Oh, yeah, you and Jesse weren't here when Jana rubbed it in. Well, Jana didn't. Josie rubbed it in. She was like, oh, like that kid was a street urchin, just like Zero used to be. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love that. Oh, my God. Well, it's true. <laughs> Josie, you were like, that was you. That used to be you. <laughs> oh, God. We're just making you ever sure been to the Zero... desert? Who? Either of you, uh, like like uh, Jenna and uh, Zero. Have I been to the desert? I don't know. I don't think so. Does um? Oh fuck! I don't know what that's called. The place with the fruit where the kiwis are is that desert? No, that's just very hot okay. grassland. Okay, well, it's more no. of a savanna. I've this been to Havana. The <laughs> desert by uh, Calve. Calve is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, Calve. Because I've I've been there once before for a few months. When I attuned to this, I was back there for maybe years. I'm not sure the time wasn't quite normal. And she just kind of trails off and just goes back into deep thought. She's just going to sit there for a bit now. Okay. After like an hour or so, Riley arrives back. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> uh, I guess you've already caught wind that Chris is missing then. Oh, Zero, I see you've got uh, Azik already on the uh, job then. Good thinking, good thinking. Yeah, Find him in no time. Jared, Riley. What? I'm just going to turn back and keep to myself. I'm going to read Zero's mind. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Have you no sense of privacy, Bowen? <laughs> That's a little invasive. To do to your Zero, own friends. Zero, what are, what are your surface thoughts? What's what's most on your mind right now? Brief um, sentence. I'm a terrible, terrible person, and everyone, I, I destroy everything I touch. Holy shit! What the fuck happened? I'm going deeper. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, Zero, make a wisdom saving throw. I love it, and like you, this could be a good time for you to just. Say something nice to Zero. Oh, succeeds. this is the highest so zero... wisdom I've ever rolled in my life. Zero's got to do something embarrassing now. You, you drank a little thinking. too much. And you don't realize your bar stool is tipping over. <laughs> you sort of just hit shoulder first, followed by the ribs, and then your hips string to the wooden floor. I stay there. <laughs> My surface thoughts are now. I deserve that. Aww. I'm going to go over to Zero. Bro. I'm going <laughs> to pat them on the back and say, I appreciate you. Mm. Anyway, uh, nobody's seen Chris then. Wasn't that your, your job? Th yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him. I went over to the, uh, the Black Arbor and he wasn't there. No traces of a crazy elf man. Nothing. Weren't you supposed to be, like, keeping them here? He teleported. 
He did. I saw it. Should we go looking for him? Nah. I mean, if Asik's already on the job, I guess could speed things up if we did that. I'm in favor of it. I've got nothing mm. better to do. Muffled on the ground, because Zero's face is, like, pushed into the ground. They're going to be like, Azik's not on anything. Azik's not even on this plane, dog. Oh, did you send him somewhere else, then? I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Well, all right, then. Guess we'll see him later. Um, If he's not out, then, yes, we need to go search for him. Yeah, you can Ooh, be back in jail. what shit he's getting in. You know, he's Should not on check? the market right now, I checked, but who oh, knows, okay. he could be. And if he wasn't in the northern half, then he stands to reason that he'll be somewhere in the south. If I was Chris, where would I go? Prison? <laughs> yeah, prison. I was already there and he wasn't back there. back into the library? What about the explosion zone? Mm, yeah. Like a place What's Chris the most chaotic place? The gunfire alley. Hmm. Do we really have time for a wild goose chase right now? Do I get any we have about advantages today, yes. as a do I get any advantages as a ranger? Like I know I don't I didn't see him, but like do I get any anything because I know Chris and I know his habits, you know, to try Wait. and track him, Ooh, find him. I'm He's sorry. not a beast. He didn't I know. study up. Your favorite enemy well, isn't he is isn't he is Chris. kind of a beast. He is kind of a weird creature. <laughs> but you didn't choose Chris as a favorite enemy. No. Can I do that next level up? <laughs> favorite enemy? If you want to waste that, <laughs> sure. Favorite enemy. Oh my god. I, don't mean I get that means I get advantages to kill you, Chris. <laughs> Specifically Chris. If you're willing mean... to sacrifice a valuable class feature. I'm not going to stop you. You could oh, just yeah, be humanoids. I don't think that's one of the options. It's also or, come to my attention that you, Deirdre, are not on the wanted list either. So if you want to, you know, step outside, it's probably safe. Nah, I'm good. You're good? What? Okay. What time uh, is it right now? Uh, Noon-ish. It's hard to tell because it's still pretty cloudy outside. It's starting to rain a little bit. Speaking of rain. If he's not back by six o'clock, then I'll be worried. He just might be doing Chris things. I mean, from what I understand, he's good at getting into trouble and probably just as good as getting out of it, am I right? No. Chris, getting out of trouble. <laughs> he got arrested when we first arrived here. He is not good at getting out of trouble. Yeah, he started in jail. <laughs> hmm. He's starting. Well, if he's in jail, I doubt getting him out is in our best interest. He wasn't in jail. I can assure you that. I would have seen some commotion on my way back. So. Well, if he's not in jail, then he'll be back eventually. Yeah, we'll Unless give him a dead. couple hours. If he doesn't show up, we go look for him. Mm -hmm. Does the, does, the, does the blimp leave tomorrow? If Ooh, they... just yeah. barely. Riley is Riley's We gotta go get him back. Okay. If you're gonna go, Jana will help. Sounds good to me. Zero will pick themselves up and go. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, if, you, if, first. if we're all looking for him, I guess we're looking for him. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Now that the you know time has passed and the kid's <clears throat> dead, um, can I summon Azek right now? Can I not like cast a spell, but can I like, yeah, just summon him? Okay, you try summoning them. Nothing happens. <sighs> All right. So and where are we looking? Oh, yeah, we should. Scour the southern half of the town, anyway. Maybe ask around, see if anybody's seen a crazy blue elf man doing some weird thing, as he does. Okay, sounds good to me. Sure. Okay, all of you make investigation checks, or one of you make an investigation check. Who wants, to, who wants to helm the investigation? Who has the highest investigation? I got three. I got two. I got one. 
I have seven. Oh. Yeah, that. Well, that's pretty good. Advantage also? What for? Anyways. Uh, we got a room for two more. Two more points. What? We can get 27. Possibly. What? That's not it, it, it's yeah, fine. fine. 25 is huge. It's fine. Um, true. Uh, folk do tell tale of the man that ran very fast towards the what is it? Railguard Derek. I suppose we'll head there then. Maybe right. he's turning himself in. He knows what he did. I've known the man for less than a week, and that doesn't seem like something he would do. <laughs> You're right, he has no remorse whatsoever. Um, okay, we're going to just go there then. Real guard barracks. Cool. Uh, Chris. What uh, is it? You wake up because of your fucking rolls. <laughs> uh, you see, oh, my, uh, you uh, I'm a little miffed that my cool scene just got like, eh. <laughs> 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 but that's D&D. I can't stop it. Thanks, Jesse, for uh, slamming yeah. the rule book onto me. I'm like, All right. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, it's the snake man's fault for not. This, this, this is your fault. <laughs> it's my fault that my companion your... isn't dead. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, shame on me. Send an assassin after you, trying to go do something. Yeah. Actually, the rules say that they're like this. <laughs> wow, like y'all just fucking me. hate me, huh? No, <laughs> I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Roll that's my fault. Uh, you wake up with a sort of figure just rummaging over you. Uh, you're leaned up against the wall. Uh, you sort of just open up, hazy. Uh, you still feel like the, the now cold liquid on your chest of your blood. Uh, you start feeling your throat as, but like a hand sort of pulls you down. Like, ah, stop it! It's trying to work here. Jeez. You sort of look up and you see this elderly, very elderly man hunched back, this big gray bushy beard. It looks like a fucking like, like um one of those guys from Skyrim. Um big hood, like a big like backpack over him too. Um you feel these little pinpricks through your throat as he keeps like touching it for some reason. Uh, before he leans his head in very, very close to yours and starts biting something on your throat. And you hear this little, little like snap. He sort of just like steps backwards. Says, eh, "That'll do it for now. I wouldn't touch it, or um, speak, or uh, breathe too hard. The uh, sutures might fall out." I do a gentle nod. I um, I hope it wasn't too forward of me, but I took a little bit of coin from your pouch, sisters. <laughs> It's payment. Just wanted to put that forward. There's a couple of kids here poking at your body, but I scared them off. Being a grouchy old guy in the corner has its perks. I, uh, I nod again as well. And, um, I'm gonna cast some old earth and write in the ground if I can, um, what is your name? There's enough dirt here that you can just sort of like, I'll allow that. That's an interesting way. Huh. Caster. Hmm. I wanted to be one of you at one point, but I didn't have the aptitude for it. Uh, name's Vivek. I was a doctor. Uh, one lifetime ago. Anyway, I wish you didn't keep you here. I would, um, from what I've seen, you got some coin to spare. I'd probably get some more magical means of healing to patch that up quicker. I do another nod. Farewell, you bleeding man. And he just starts <laughs> walking around and starts limping his way out of the alleyway. Uh, take off 50 gold from your. Gold count. 
Okay. Uh, is that including the stuff the kid take took? Yeah. So you count. You're 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 down fifty gold from the guy. Um. How much gold do you have? Oh, fuck. No, that's not that's not right. I have okay, sixteen twenty seven. Okay. Uh, you're probably missing uh probably about three hundred gold total. Didn't we take some for the tickets though too? What I think you took <clears throat> off of it. I could be wrong. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I took it off already. Yeah. So the the guy's doctor fee, your 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 extra life that you got. Um I was like the the stuff the kid took totals about three hundred gold. Okay. So the doctor and the kid is three hundred? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but he didn't clean you up. Like, all he did was sort of uh, wash out the wound and then suture it up. Like, you're still covered in blood. Yeah. Your own blood. You see, like, the drag marks that are kind of be washed away in the rain right now. Um, you sort of put you in, like, a shelter corner with, like, a like, building overhang a little bit. I think I'm going to go in the rain and then just kind of, like, get it to wash it. Oh, your hobo shower, I guess? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit. The rain's not the most you know powerful thing. It's not like it's not like a huge monsoon or anything, but it's rain. It's like a really shitty faucet. But after about ten minutes, you wash yourself off to to an extent. It stained a little bit of your clothes. Okay. Your clothes you had. Your underwear, essentially. <laughs> but you are one hit point. Um, can I try and use egg? <laughs> okay, you, you, you see the basket of eggs and you try to pull one. Roll a d6. See if you get another one and get fourth roll of just normal eggs. Oh, what does that do? Let me check. Um, okay, roll a d12. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he just explode himself? What's going oh, on? Maybe. I, it, it, it may not be the, the assassin with its jagged knife that kills him. It might be the, the 14 chickens that you summon, which are now hostile to you. <laughs> I swear to fucking Ooh. god, if you die... This is a much better way for Chris to die. <laughs> I was taking a chance there, but <laughs> finally, actions have consequences. Finally. <laughs> oh my god, no! Um, I, I hate this campaign. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> So, so you, you pull out an egg, and then I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it, it, it like it multiplies into two. And you're still holding it, and it multiplies into four. Like, like it's like cells dividing, but it's, it gets to not. It gets to a point where it's like, why can't I hold all these eggs? And they all fall on the ground, but they don't splatter. Instead, they roll about ten feet away from you. They keep multiplying until they number about fourteen before simultaneously, like cuckoos, they just erupt, and they're <laughs> almost like, and then they all stop. And they all suddenly turn their heads towards you as their eyes just flash for red and they start chasing you. Um, can, can I? Can you imagine? Can I, can sorry, I, if this actually calls Chris and this is how we find him, we just think chickens got him down from full health to death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be the fucking implication. I mean, we're totally going to speak with that him, though. Can I um, try and cast something? Sure, I'll give you one action. Okay. Um. So how far can I see? Uh, you have your sight back. You can see normal. Okay. Um. Like what? Like, is there any walls near me? Am I like? Yeah, there's walls. There's a um. You're not. It's not a huge alley. It's only like thirty feet across, roughly. That. Um. Thirty, forty, fifty feet. Fifty feet across. Um. You're probably. In the center, so you're just about twenty five feet away from you as a wall. Okay. Um. 
what is this cat? <laughs> Dude, I seem that I, I, I play Assassin's Creed and you end up playing Harvest Moon. Like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Legend of Zelda. He pissed off the cuckoo. Okay. Um, I want to use a Thunder Step. Um, but I want to try and. Yeah, I want to try and uh, teleport. Okay. Um, like, can I teleport 90 feet somewhere? You may. Okay. Uh, what's the damage on Thunderstep? 10 feet, right? Uh, yeah, 10 feet. Yeah, so, so they're all trying to rush you, basically. Um, I don't think I even need to roll because they, they're chicken. They have, like, <laughs> a hit point. Which is uh, four times less than what a child has. Uh, yeah, so you just you see this like these this swarm of angry chickens. You rolled max somehow. This is maximum chicken. As they all just like rush you, like a cloud of just like angry people, like a peasant mob, you're trying to rush you. You just cast thunderstep. You like throw a smoke bomb at. They all just erupt into just feathers and flesh. It looks like a fucking butcher's wet dream in here. Like it's, <laughs> you just teleport onto the onto the one of the roofs of the uh, buildings. I basically you just uh, atomize all these chickens, and then I, uh, and then the sound of the lightning, right? Yeah, and it, it makes it very loud, like almost like gunshot. And now all the chickens are dead. Pretty much. There's maybe like a few stragglers, but they're not. <laughs> there's not like they, they're flightless birds that can't reach you. Yeah, I guess one of those fucking. I guess I'll just stay on the roof for now. Okay. Sure. Um. Okay, everyone in the search party make a perception check. What is that perception? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for pretty much everyone, uh, everyone is a dare to, you, as you sort of going to the thoroughfare, you hear like you hear the fast sound of thunder just going overhead. Um, dare to, you're sharp enough to pick up that thunder sound is localized, like it's too close almost. <clears throat> Do I see any lightning? Nope. Did anybody see any lightning by any chance? Lightning? No. Right, well... Because that thunder was from very close. Like, in our general vicinity close. Oh dear, I wonder what this could mean. Did what he just if... fucking thunder wave something? He might have... Well, I think we know which direction we want to be headed in. The direction of the thunder would be a good start, yes. Let's head towards there. Post haste, as as you say in your tongue. Let us away. I And then we away. Okay. Uh, scene three, t please turn page 13 for Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, aye, Captain. Christostomus. Oh, um, wherefore art thou, Christostomus? A man bites his thumb at you. Do you bite, do you bite my thumb at me, thumb at sir? Me, sir? Sir, I bite my thumb, but I do not bite it at you, sir. I was expecting to fucking have a whole rehash of the entire goddamn play. No, I don't know that much. What, you egg? <laughs> he stabs him. <laughs> yeah. Fitting. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
Um, yeah, it's not a huge alleyway or anything. Uh, yeah, but eventually you do see, like, you're in, you're in the general vicinity of Chris, meta wise. And you're we don't see him. Uh, from your position, not really. You're on the main thoroughfare. Chris got shanked in like an alleyway. All right, uh, I'm going to go into the nearest alleyway and start to cast a uh, flock of familiars. That's a thing you can do now. Yeah. Cool. That's what, a minute? Two, ten minutes? One of those two. One minute. One minute. Okay. Uh, what forms are taken? Flies. Okay, so three. So, so three swarms as... of flies. Okay, so you guys watch as Deirdre just ducks into an alleyway, uh, sits down and starts meditating almost as this sort of their own skull starts like floating in their hands and they start spinning endlessly, almost, almost like a window screensaver. Um, before, after a minute, this, these like swarms of flies, three of them just erupt from the eyeballs of the skull. Okay, and you start, I'm assuming, search for Chris. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they fly up about 60 feet before they see this blue shape just resting on a roof. I'm assuming he's saluting for no reason. Mm -hmm. Salute to the flies. Well, I have good news. Um, I found him. Uh, I also have bad news. I found him. He also looks pretty roughed up. Of course he does. What kind of trouble did he get into, I wonder? All right, then. Let's go see him. Oh, oh he looks like bad, bad. What? What could possibly have done that? He's Is covered he in blood, first what? of all. What the fuck? By the looks of it, his own. I, I'm not talking. Well, well, let's go get him. Yeah, maybe start with that. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go get him. <coughs> okay. Is he and up on a roof? Or? He's up on a roof right now. You guys can go go into I'm the gonna, alley roughly. I'm gonna where they are. fly up on the roof. Or how high up is the roof? Uh, your roof. The roof you you're there. In the alley you're in right now is probably about 30, 40 feet up. Two sword. Uh, I can anyone. I'm, I'm gonna fly up like 20 feet, then start like floating back down. <laughs> can anyone give me a boost? I'm trying to get up here, but I can't quite reach. Oh, do you want me to throw you up then? Uh, sure. All right, then let's give that a shot. I'm probably gonna need like a strength check, aren't I? Uh, athletics. I think that's okay. Athletic. Because I have a 20-foot flight speed. I don't think I've rolled anything except a 12 today. Uh, probably not, though. Oh. Above average. But you, 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 you try to, like, like a child playing with their father. <laughs> like, you're just trying to, like, by the way, throwing them up. They're small enough that they're around the same size. Um, yeah, you only make it probably, like, an extra, like, uh, five feet up for... Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to find another way. Yeah, it's, it's, he wasn't too that, wasn't that far away. Um, some time passes. You can you eventually find the alleyway that um that uh Jesus that that you assume Chris is in. Um, yeah, there you find an alleyway. Turn right. There's like a sort of like this um, central batch storage area. Um, on the ground, you notice is just a mess of chickens and feathers. A lot of blood, like a lot of blood. It looks like a fucking butcher in here. And Chris just sort of on the roof, just chilling. <laughs> Jesus, were you attacked by a flock of angry chickens? I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> I see that. <clears throat> so he's... Are the chickens still looking angry? Uh, there's like two of them that start trying to like get at him, yeah. Oh my god, he was attacked by a flock of angry chickens. All right, Janus, and let's let's just. Channel won't calm down the chickens. Riley's just okay. gonna end this quickly. He's just gonna throw wind blasts at them both. Okay, make two attack rolls. Okay. Uh, where the hell is this? Okay, you get one. Uh, roll for damage for fun. Don't need to, but. Okay, you, 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 
you wind lance the chickens. Uh, it's sort of like hyper uh, pressurized like jet of air it sort of pierces through the chickens. You see this like you see like the open wound that it makes before it just like like vacuum sucks back up. You, like you see the rain water to sort of like make this like a uh, cylindrical just jet of air essentially. Uh, you try to do this second one, but it sort of just ducks out of the way. I uh, just like jumping up angrily at the the um, where they think Chris is, to so jumping up above your lance. Cheeky bird! I'll show him. I'm gonna stab him with my trident. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You ever seen the commercial with like? That spider and the guy. It's like it's just a spider, and the spider starts like judo flipping the fucking like dude all around, like slammed to the coffee table. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> Somehow, <You're> just... <laughs> this chicken overpowers you. <laughs> like you, you try to stab with the chick to try, but it does like this matrix dodge and like puts his beak around it, like, Pop! and then it just like rips it out of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus <this> fuck! <laughs> it's this campaign. Well, I'm not. This is a serious <laughs> session. Dear just shakes her head and just fucking immolates this bird. Yeah. It, it turns into like one of those like Castlevania turkeys that just like. <laughs> your health. Maybe you find the walls. <sighs> Can we please get, get, get on with this? Please? There's a bleeding out. Man, on this roof, I, I think we should maybe tend to that. I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm gonna grab my trident. Easy enough. Yeah, that's all I wanted. I just wanted Wolf, my trident. Grab trident. Okay. What do I? Oh my god, I hate this one. Do I? What do I roll? Make an athletics check for fun. <laughs> Fuck! Incoming twelve. That's not a twelve. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it god. takes you a while. It's fucking slick, yo. It's just with with chicken slab and rainwater. I'm Dude. giving up. I'm casting Unseen Servant. <laughs> what, what is this cat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, unseen Servant. Much better at retrieving tridents than you are. Thank you, Patsy. All right. Now, where were we? Uh, is he within 30 feet? Uh, yeah. I'm going to cast Aid real quick. It's a uh, five health. Aids. Aid. Or no, no, not aid, not aid. Why would I cast aid? I don't know. Now I'm, I'm going to cast healing word. Okay. Healing word. Regain sand health. Okay, Chris, you feel like the um, the sutures on your throat feel a little bit tight, and it's, and it's like your flesh starts okay. forming around it. Uh, you just instinctively just pull out, it and it's sort of just like like um one of those uh high school agendas with those coil bindings so you just rip out the suture from your neck as it, it fully closes up. Um, your throat okay. still feels sore. But you, f you, try, you just try getting some words out. It hurts a little, but you can get words out. Okay. Um, can I, uh, like, how, did I heal like, uh, you have nine hit, hit points. points? Nine? Yeah, nine hit yeah, points. Nine. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Um, and then, like, at that point, do I notice them or like, like you notice them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I look down and I'm like, and I'm about thirty feet up. Yeah, twenty five ish, give or take. Okay. Uh, I'll look down at them and then I'll wave, or actually, I'll salute. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm gonna misty step down there. Okay, easy enough. Yeah. So Chris appears before you. Um, there's like a jagged scar where his throat is. Wow, those chickens really did a number on you, huh? <laughs> yeah. How many were there? There were so many feathers. Must have been like dozens, if not hundreds, to do that to you. I'd imagine. Yeah, there was... Jesus, they really fucked you up. Fourteen. Fourteen, 14 chickens, chickens is all it takes to bring a mage to near death 
That's no, 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 no. They wasn't the chickens. Oh, what? oh, oh. Well, they're also ducks. <laughs> no, unless you're going to tell me a turkey was in on it too. No, there was snakes. Snakes. Goose. Ooh, are you poisoned? Uh, Need an no. antidote. I think I was poisoned at a point, but there was snake guy, snake man, or girl, the snake mask. I think you need mm. some rest, buddy. No, no. What? Reading his mind. Sure. Uh, it was snake mask. Holy shit. Uh, guys? They found us. Are you talking about those elusive, terrible, terrifying assassins that are trying to kill you? Death is very same, and they fucked him up. They, uh, it, there was a kid who tried to steal my money, so I went after them. And, uh, like at this point, Chris looks visibly actually scared. Like he, like he's still trying to process what happened. But, uh, yeah, there was a kid who tried to take my money. I tried to hold person him, but they, they got away. And, uh, I went to chase after them. And I found them here in this alley in the corner. So I went up to them, and then, like, yellow, orange smoke, uh, erupted. And, I was trying to hold my breath, but I couldn't. And then I started, then I breathed in and I was paralyzed. And as I was paralyzed, uh, the snake, snake assassin dude came and the kid gave the, gave the guy the, um, gave, the snake guy gave the kid the money and um, uh, told them to send Sonny his regards. I don't know who Sonny is. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. And this kid had orange in his eyes. And the kid ran up, ran up the ball and disappeared. But the snake guy, he... Unfortunately, stabbed me in the throat, and uh, and I was I passed out. I didn't know what happened after that. And then woke up to a person helping me out and uh, stabilizing me. You know, and... it's amazing that you're not dead right now. Fucking tell yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know how I'm how I survived, but um, well, maybe the gods favor you by some stretch. That's the only thing I can think of of how you're still breathing. Are you still breathing? I'm still breathing for now. But huh. I I think we need to stop what's ever happening here. I don't know why they came after me. Despite, like... Maybe it's because you were alone? Maybe. Maybe we don't do that from now on. Because you pulled some bullshit. Snake yeah. guy said, like, the doctor will see me. And then tried to kill you. But didn't finish you off. Did you see anything while you were... I mean, were you ever technically dead? While you were out, let's say. Did you see anything? Anything that might be a doctor? Well, the guy that helped me out was a doctor. Why would it... Maybe, maybe the man that helped you, the guy, the dude, maybe he was important. Did you get his maybe name? Maybe he was. 
I did actually. Uh, what was his name again? Vivek. Vek? Vivek. Vivek? Vivek. Okay. Vivek. Okay. Vivek. Yeah, his name was Vivek. Mm, Vivek. Not a name I've ever heard of. Right. Uh, you do remember that when you first saw the assassin kill a bunch of people in a tavern, he introduced himself as the doctor. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay, mm. so this isn't the doctor that saved you. This was just a doctor. I think so. Are we sure about that? Because this snake assassin didn't kill you. The snake assassin just gave you a mortal wound. And next thing you know, after the snake man said the doctor will see you now, the next thing you are conscious for is the doctor seeing you. That's what it seemed like, but I, um, I think this, the assassin probably was referring to something else. Another assassin. Why would the other assassin be seeing you if that assassin was the one killing you? I don't know. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I think we're overthinking it right now. We very but... well might be. So you're over... so right now. You're telling me that there's this connection to a sunny fellow. Well, there yes. happens to be an upright uproar with um, uh, among city guard about a sunny fellow blowing up a ship in the poison sea. They shared everything. The full of arcanium. Wait, how yeah. did that happen? It's sunny, evidently. I didn't really get much about it, but it might be worth checking out now. If we can link this assassin in, well, it doesn't really do us much. He's sunny operating. escaped. What? Escaped what? Escaped the the Black Harbor. Was Sunny there? I thought that was what you said. No, no, there's this... No, Sunny blew up a ship in the Poison Sea. Or something. The whole those city ships, got a scrum. Those ships are with the Black Harbor, though. But yeah, well, the Poison Sea is right at the Black Harbor. So he must have been a prisoner with the Black Harbor then, right? Or just broken into the Black Harbor. I don't think we're going to find out anything if we stay here and theorize. We should go ask City Guard. Or we just leave. We can't leave until tomorrow, and we have a day to pass. I say we well, go find out what? what's happening. Wandering around the city almost got one of us killed. Yeah, because you don't know how to control yourselves. If we all stay together, and we all inquire at the same time, we should be fine. As long as that nobody wanders with. off. I definitely agree with all of us just staying together, because when we split up, terrible things seem to happen. Because apparently all of you have targets on your backs. We oh, shouldn't we didn't, have, though. We didn't fill you in with that yet? Oh, no, you did. Okay. But, but the second did... one of you gets separated, immediately they just pounce on you like... I don't oh, know. This isn't the first what time we've tigers? separated ourselves, but it is has been the most deadly. Uh -huh. It's worth but... noting that Azek was poofed before we all split up, though, too. What do you mean? He was? What? What? Isaac, what? Yes. I feel like this was important to know. Would have been great to have that information earlier. No wonder he's not around. What the fuck? Do they still have their eyes on us? Mm. If so, I I'm mm. gonna send my flies up to just scout, scope out the area and see if there's anybody like watching us or nearby. Sure. Oh, I should probably give you some uh, character stuff for flies. Actually, yes. I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just roll for it for now. Mm -hmm. A bit easier for now. Um, yeah, so that's three separate checks, right? Uh, yeah, Swarm of Insects. Uh, 
I also would like to point something out that the Silver Wind called off the assassination, though. And the, uh. Oh, that's right. You weren't around. That wasn't Silverwind. Or, sorry. The people who called off their spying on us were not Silverwind. They weren't? They weren't. There was no connection. We spoke with the Faceless. Oh. I guess that makes sense then. Because. Yeah, I'm, uh. I was assassinated, basically, and survived somehow. So we still got miss of an old man. <laughs> right, am I getting anything from my flies? Uh, oh, I just gave you the thing. I said I was going to roll, then I lied. Oh, it should okay. be in, should be in thing. You should have another tab now, and where you like where you I found do. skeletons. There you go. Yeah, I think it said a swarm of insects, right? Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, you send the three flies out. Um, difficult to find for anything. They're they're you know compound eyes, and there's like fifty of them. Uh, it's difficult to find what or two, but they don't seem to find anything out of the ordinary. All right. Well, not that I trust a couple swarms of flies to have the best eyesight, but they haven't found anything immediately obvious. So I think we're safe enough for now, especially considering we're all grouped up together here. Hmm. Indeed, there's safety in numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so I see we go to the Black Harbor and start interrogating some guards and stuff. If we can find Sunny, we can probably trace everything back. We only got a day to do this, though, so any unfinished right. business has to be done now. I don't right, trust any children in this town. That's a good start. Don't trust any children. Uh, but I don't know that we're going to get anything from the guards because they're just as lost as we are, as far as I'm aware. Well, we can inform them that our friend here has had an encounter with Sunny Associates and nearly paid the price of life for it. Yes, but that doesn't really help us find Sunny. And also that might get us, uh, I don't know, um stuck here for questioning for more than a day. Well, we can it explain like... that we are very busy people and we need to be in Tetscats soon. I don't know that they're necessarily going to care. Uh, I don't care. They, don't, yeah. they can't hold us. We have connections, I think. We've spoken Legal with ones. the Warden. The Warden knows us, so we should be fine. Why don't we just go to the Warden? I mean, aren't wardens in charge of prisons, not guard forces? Yes. How's the warden going to help us? Warden knows about crime and stuff. <laughs> yes, for the ones that, that have been captured, as far as I'm aware of how hey, warden... Wouldn't you think warden. that the warden would want to know where the criminal is? Or at least get any sort of, like, lead that they could possibly have? Well, um, I think... as far as I'm... I understand the role of a warden, um... It's not their problem until the criminal is captured. Specifics. I think the children are more dangerous than we think. So just don't talk to them. Right. Okay. You said the child had a flash of orange in his eyes. Yes. But also, when we first arrived here in Silnia, there was a kid with me on the way to the Black Harbor. They managed to escape the guards with some keys. Crafty ones in this city, huh? I never knew where they went, but... It seems like these children are working for these assassins. Right. Nobody ever suspects the children to be a network of spies, but the Flash of Orange, are they being mind-freaked? I am not too sure. Well, let's say we get out of this alleyway and start exploring. Right. One group. Yes? Yes. Yes. Can I detect magic before we go? 
Sure. Ritual or just just throwing it out there? Yeah, ritual. Okay. So you guys, let's go. And then Chris starts sitting on the ground for 10 minutes. Fine, fine. Uh, other than the stuff you have on you, no magic. Okay. I guess we head out then. I, okay. I guess so. All right, you guys head toward Black Harbor. Having retrieved your uh, poorly assassinated friend. I'm going to drop another uh, healing word on him. Okay. What? Two max rolls? I'm fucking killing it. You're reverse killing it, actually. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you beat me to it. <laughs> like that's second. nine points. I guess. Nine points. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. I'm also going to drop a death word on him. Okay. You have many of these things. I'm a cleric. Eight hours? Holy shit. Nice. No concentration, either. Death words are oh, good. Wow. Also, Jana, uh, can we ring the bell? I was originally looking for um, a magic shop after uh, after I went to check the posters, uh, but I uh, like ended up right here. here in the street. Uh, well, we're in the alley. I think we'll be okay. There's not really much people here yet. Do you want to do it? Like, can we wait till we get back to the inn? Or is this something that has to happen right now? Um. It just makes me nervous with Snake Man still on the loose. I just well, kind of. What I understand, the Antony Brothers probably have much better security than this town. Do we want to test that? That just says they have good security for steal. You know, like I think it's if you steal stuff, not I someone think... comes in and kills you. Okay, so why don't we go in there, kill them all, and take all their stuff then? I think there's not going to be any consequences for that. I. It's basically just a shop full of things that are re really good at killing things. For all the Snake Man knows, I'm already dead. Maybe he wanted you alive. He didn't finish you off, so... And anyone at all could be one of their agents. Are you saying we shouldn't trust the Atneys? No, no, the Atneys, they seem fine. They, they're just magic shop people, as far as I'm aware. No reason not to trust them. Oh, I, I'm I saying just... in this town, no matter what, we're not safe. Uh, in with the Atney brothers, from what I understand, they're very powerful, and they wouldn't take kindly to somebody, you know, coming to fuck their shit. But I'd imagine they also wouldn't take kindly to somebody bringing themselves in there, along with somebody who's gonna fuck their shit. So it's a gamble going in there for sure, but I, I I just wanted to get some supplies like potion and maybe another thing. There is something I wanted to talk to Atnes too about. So if they're around, I may as well follow you in. And I'm not opposed to this. I have nothing to do in there, but you're I can in cast. We're in dire need of some healing potions. I can cast my Faithful Hound, and he can watch over the entrance. That'll do. And I can keep my Fly Swarms just, you know, circling the perimeter. They last about an hour. So where are we going, then? I'd like to stop standing around. Well, we're either going, or we're 
looking for a random child. What's the well, move? I guess we're not going. Are we going to the Atneys? Are we? I would like to. Anyone oppose? No. All right, Atneys it is. Is Missy still here? Yeah. Okay. Been really silent. Good. Okay. Uh, Jenny, you're ringing the bell? I guess. Okay. Sure. Uh, you guys are talking to us in an alley. Easy enough. Lots of alleys in the city. Alleys are like my favorite location in the cities. Okay, you uh, Cindy Lopper it. Show me that song, right? No. Whatever. Uh, yep, yeah, that sort of black curtain erupts from a wall. Uh, you guys enter. Um, before I enter, uh, I'll cast Faithful Hound in at the entrance. Okay, what's the time on that? Like, how much how long does it take to cast? It says... One action. Casting time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you just basically just wave your hand, throw whatever your hook opponents are, and just say a word, and a dog that only you can see just erupts from into view. To you, at least. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Anything else? Anyone doing anything before they enter the Emporium? Uh -uh. I'm just going to make sure my flies are still buzzing. Um, depends if you want to do this in the alleyway or just walking all the way to Black Harbor first. Then just right here first. Might as well, right? Okay, so for purposes of this, we'll say this is still in the, the alleyway that you found those just ravaged chickens. Like a poultry explosion. Cool. Sure. Um, so you guys enter. Uh, see the sort of wooden floors, wooden desk, these two spiral staircases that go up to that upper veranda. Uh, or mezzanine. That's what it's called. Uh, and you do see the Andy brothers there, actually. Um, you see Theopor just at the desk doing some paperwork, it seems, having some spectacles on. Uh, tall human guy, some dark some orange hair. Uh, I sort of just looks up. Oh, hey, uh, it's been a while. Been a while. Uh, anything I can get you? Anything, uh, you know, potions? I think you probably ran out of potions, right? You got a new friend mm. there. Who is that? Ah, yes, uh, Deirdre, pleased to make your acquaintance. I'll be making great use of your services in the times to come. And I will be joining the, uh, the Zodiacs, was it? For the time being. That's oh, us. Ah, yeah, I'm also a ghost. I take off my mask. Nice. Third ghost we've seen. Uh, interesting. Oh. oh, oh, tell me more about this. Uh, later. Business first. Uh, right. just some friends and stuff. You know, sometimes they can pop up. Uh, it's... Ghost from this century? Uh, probably, yeah. Never asked. Uh, next time you see them, please do for me. Because uh, I'm sure. not from this century, exactly. That sounds highly worrisome. It is. But, as you said, business first. Right, uh, Rupor, get down here. And you see Rupor just like poke his head from up the upper mezzanine. He seems to be in the middle of reading a book. Um, normally he's dressed in like average things, but it looks like he's in like workshop attire now or something. Like he's like dressed in like this like leather apron, like dark wool sweater, and like some like leather, like thick, almost gauntlet like gloves. Uh, you see this shorter human man, sort of just black, uh, blackish brown hair. Uh, looks like someone shat in a cereal. He just has his like, pissed <laughs> off face. If I played Skyward Sword, this is unique. When you, play, when you get a Rupor, that's his guy's face. He sort of just walks down, just hobbles down. He's like almost half the height of this, of his, of his brother. All right, now what can we get for you? We got potions. I think we uh, got a fresh batch. Don't we go in? Yeah, yeah, we got a fresh batch. Uh, I think 
Uh, yeah, Benny's handling that. Rupor's handling that. A lot of potions. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, what can I get? I would like some potions. Indeed. All right, but uh, how many do you need? Uh, do you want the bigger ones, smaller ones, greater ones, superior ones, supreme ones? What are the supreme ones? Uh, supreme ones are, uh, we only have one of those. They're kind of a uh, um, part of my language, uh, difficult to make, um, otherwise known as a bitch. Um, <laughs> they, they are, they're going to be 5,000 gold, oh. um, but they'll pretty much heal any wound, including if you get punched through by a fist or something. It, it's powerful stuff. I wouldn't um, feed it to anything small. We've had some. He he gives you like a like he furrows his eyebrows. Side effects. Hmm. But on people, it'll be fine. Just uh, I, I want to pull a rat out of my hat. Like so, if you, if you fed it to this, it would just like explode or what? I wouldn't. Ex in a sense, if you you know, like having. A Cerberus rat. I would like to have a Cerberus rat. It, it regenerates flesh like very good, and in smaller quantities, it's or smaller creatures, it's it uh, regenerates fest, uh, flesh a little bit too fast. Hmm. Our humans, it'll be fine. We've uh, tested that mostly. Uh, I don't know that any of us are humans, though. Uh, people testing, it's you know, humans is the, the blanket term. It confuses people. It's fine. Uh huh. I'm gonna put my rat back into my hat. We sell those uh, too. Rats? Hat of vermin. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Theopol. Yeah. While they're off getting their potions and whatnot, I believe I had Orville sending a request for me. Oh, right. Uh, remind me of that again. It was the ring that we sold you a while back. Oh, uh, Orville, did you forget to tell me something? And then Orville sort of pops up. It looks like he's in the middle of a bath or something. He, he's, he sees your face running and goes, Yes, they inquired about the ring. The board just goes, Right, that's coming into your pay. Um, the, the ring, the little skull <laughs> thing, right? Yeah, the one that can send messages, right? I think we dismantled that. Uh, it is sort of the uh, arcane trade secret. If you, there is a way that we found that you can milk a little bit of arcanium out of magic stuff, a little bit. So we just do you know, anything junk, we just yeah, throw it in there. Oh, you have need of arcanium? It helps with enchanting. Um, I'm going to plug not, a vial of arcanium. That's cool. Uh, uh, how much could you offer for a vial of this? I, well, Depends. It, we, we have a supplier, in a sense. Um, though we wouldn't mind extras. Uh, let me see. I don't think I remember what the fuck I put the price as. Hold on. Let me pull up market price for drugs. Um, market price for drugs mm -hmm. dot com. Yep. Yeah. Wasn't it like a hundred gold per vial or something like that? Uh, it does aquamarine. Uh, oh, yeah. What you got for? Uh, it's pure arcanium, even rare. Um, yeah, uh, well, I'll take it off your hands for probably about four hundred gold. I'll consider it if I ever need the money. Oh, uh, I had one more thing. Uh, I want to pull out my pouch of magic sand. Um, get this. Is mean anything to you? Can, anything you can make of this? Uh, it's sand that seems to be like infused with some kind of arcanium. Uh, I got it from over in uh, Narset. How would you get into Narset? Uh, I knew things that they wanted to know, and they knew things that I wanted to know. Well, um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen any or can't even fuse sand before. Um, if you're willing to leave it with us, I can maybe run some stuff, maybe what we can do with it. Uh, Rupert here, he sort of just points to this fucking, like, four-foot man. Uh, he can, he's handy with tools, he, can, he, knows, he knows the stuff. He, handle, he handles the meat side, I handle the business side. Alright, yeah, I mean, see what you can do to it, and get back to me, I guess? 
Sure. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Right. Um, uh, how long on. do you reckon that'll take? A week or so? I'm not sure. We haven't run the tests. All right. I'll leave you to it then. All right. Real poor. And he sort of just like throws this giant bag of sand at his brother. I did, put that somewhere. Anyway, um, uh, potions, right? You wanted potions. Which ones do you want? Um, I think I'm going to get, uh, how much are the regular potions? Regular potions will be 50 gold a pop. We have, uh, I think 10 vials. Okay, I'm going to get... And regular potions heal how much again? Uh, uh, they, they, they tell me to put on the flyer 2d4 plus 2. I'm not sure what that means, though. Okay, okay. What's the potion above that? The greater potion? That'd be greater healing potion. That'll be run you... Uh, 250 gold. Um, that one's 44 plus 4. We have five of those things. I'll take a regular potion and a greater potion. Alright, that'll be 300 gold. All together. Yep. Alright, Rupar! He sort of just yells at his brother, who's in the middle of putting the sand away. Somewhere. Like in, in, like in like a storage shelf somewhere. It's like, I get, get uh, one healing potion, one greater health potion. Hurry, hurry. Uh, anyway, uh, anything else? Anything else? Anything? Any other? Anyone? Other um, one potions or? I would also like to um, inquire about uh, a scroll, like a spell. Um, yeah, we got those. We got a lot of scrolls. A lot of scrolls. Um, do you not have... many people buy them, but we are. What do we need? Do you have Featherfall? Featherfall. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me see. As he pulls out uh, his phone, as he checks his app. Uh, Featherfall? You know I could teach you that one, right? But I, I need to copy it down. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, oh, first level spell. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. Um... Yeah, I can get you that for 175 gold. Okay. Um, how about fly as well? Fly? Uh, ah, third level. Uh, a little bit higher up, but we got a couple of those. Um, now it'll cost you 700 gold. Okay. And would I need to have ink and paper each for those? Uh, you just have enough, need enough to have a... There's rules for that. I don't know if they were, but... Uh, it's like a certain amount of... It's like 50 gold of, of ink per spell level or something like that. So you just need 200 gold of ink, I think. Double check. Wizard. D and D, folks. D and D. When I'm looking at rules, yeah. yeah, it's two hours and fifty GP per level of the spell. Yeah, yeah. So you, you just need fifty, the two hundred gold. I've two hundred gold of uh of ink. We can tell you that. Um, one of those magic enhanced and and uh, magically enchanted stuff. Uh, we can get you some paper too. So it's it's two hundred. So, so uh, two hundred gold for the ink. Uh, I'll call it 10 gold for the paper. Uh, so 210 for all the writing materials, plus 700 gold for the fly scroll, and one, uh, 175 gold for the featherfall scroll. But totaling all together to let me pull up my abacus. Uh, all together, that'll run you 1,085 gold. Hmm. I have 1,027, but if I... Uh give back the regular healing potion. I could I'll, uh, I'll allow that. Okay. Well, I need to Re take back the potion. Yeah. Um that was fifty gold, right? That's fifty gold. Alright, okay. so give you back fifty gold and for ease of maths, you can if you want to get the fly scroll, feather fall scroll, and the paper and ink required, 1,085 gold all together. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta figure out where I was at. I was at 1327. Are you putting, are you bringing back both, all, like, both potions, or just the one? Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing the one. You, you're taking the greater, just the greater one, right? Yeah. Okay. So that, like, everything with the potion is, uh, thousand. Altogether, hold on, altogether with a potion, maybe, uh, 1,335, including the potion. Okay. 1,335. Correct. Okay, Your I... Arithmetic is impeccable, sir. Um... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pay him 1,327 uh, gold pieces, and then I'll do, like... Um... Eight. Yeah, eight. Eight silver. Eighty silver pieces. Exact change. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right. Well, do. Uh, he sort of just lugs the sack over his shoulder and he just throws it at his brother. Rupar, put that somewhere. <gasps> All right. Uh, let me get Orville to get your stuff. I'll let get Rupor get you, get the other stuff. He's still in the middle of holding a giant sack as he just stares at his brother with like death eyes <laughs> before running off to like in the back room, starts like, rummaging through show. Uh, in the meantime, while they get that, anything else anyone would like to get? Uh, any enchantments? Uh, any uh, any anything? Any anything? Nope. nope. All right. Uh, so eventually, uh, Orville, he has like a bathrobe around his waist. Uh, just like still sopping wet, basically. He just like, just like walking towards you. Uh, he's, he's carrying the potions, and Orville grabs the uh, paper and ink and scrolls and everything. All right, there you go, sir. Would you like a bag for that? Uh, sure. Wonderful. And he's just, he basically just like, uh, he like vacuum seals it for you. Sure. And then I'll put that bag in the bag of holding. Cool. Ye old vacuum seal. All right. If nothing else, uh, I, I got some books to read. I think that's all. Unless anyone else would like anything. Uh-uh. All right. Um, okay. Have a good day. Maybe see you on the road a couple times. We'll see. Yep. Okay. You guys exit. Uh. Uh. Cool. You guys exit. Nothing seems uh out of the ordinary. All right, we didn't pick anything up on our various dude people. Nope. Okay. Even well, if... let's go find a murder child then, I guess. Cool. Uh, zero. What's up? Um, as you, as you begin to walk, Isaac just appears on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, you're just looking surprised. What form is he in right now? Oh. Oh. Uh, he just appears. Like, um, he looks ragged. Oh? Like, he looks like he went through the shitter. Like, his ruffles are all, like, roughed up. Uh, there's a few cuts and laceration, lacerations. You notice he's, uh, most notably, he's missing an eye. Oh. 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 As he sort of just looks at you, but not really making eye contact. 
can sure. can Isaac be healed magically? I don't know. Well, I have a good amount of sauce left. Let me know if you want me to try something. Oh. Okay. I hope I just as just sort of just silently appears, just looking, looking down mostly, but no words. Cool. Cool. So nothing else. Oh, okay, uh, we're not gonna talk about that. I mean, zero. I was gonna talk to my bird in private. So, cool. Right. Um, sure. So, I just appears. Uh, but eventually, you guys make your way through the road, um, sticking to the public roads, the ones where it's starting to get more busy, so you don't uh, get single uh, picked off single-handedly. But eventually you make your way to the uh, very ugly exterior, black and white exterior of Black Harbor Prison. Uh, time to take a break. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It gets louder and more clear. Is it a Samsung? Is the washing yeah. machine a Samsung yeah. washing machine? Answer the fucking yeah. question, Josie. I don't Does know. It... It's not my washing machine. Does it play? Does it play a little tune after it's done? No. Oh my god. I don't think that's exclusive of Samsung, though. My washing machine plays Despacito after it's done. <laughs> Random. I didn't know you can make like the auditory feeling of a meme, but you did it. <laughs> you're just like you're just like, okay, it's a, it's a washing machine of what Samsung. You're like what? Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that there's audio popping and the fact that you're so close is like slamming against shit was great. <laughs> Literally, that was the auditory form of what a meme feels like. <laughs> Someone tell me I'm wrong, because I'm not. You're not. B base boosted. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <sighs> Okay. Bernie, you're not a, you're not an Asimar because you're a fucking blessing on this world. <laughs> oh my god. I almost was. <laughs> Aren't you with your backup character? You are. That's why he said he almost yeah. was, because he almost oh, fucking right. died. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna sh try to shank the shit out of one of you guys. Oh, he gets murdered by like the most elusive like effective assassin in existence and he just like takes a power nap and walks it off <laughs> nothing but respect for my wizard he takes a power nap and walks it <laughs> off that <laughs> didn't hurt <laughs> oh my god just to try to, do, fucking try to do one of those cool I'm not gonna look at exploding type moments and then fucking <laughs> just the explosion comes back and clotheslines him in the head. <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> the opposite effect. The chickens could have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> if you decided to do anything other than run or run, basically, they probably would have killed you. Mm -hmm. Fucking chickens. Not 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 the century old assassination guild. But poultry. <laughs> yeah, who would win? An extremely talented and, you know, powerful assassin or 
14 chickens. That you know, sounds I did the way funnier in my head. One time. And to kill uh, a frog human, you need like 800 rats. Only? Yeah, statistically, the frog human will lose every single time. Hmm. That's not that difficult to pull off. Mm hmm. Just gotta get a bag of rat holding. Or just unleash a breeding ground of rats onto a frog hemoth. Maybe. And you gotta get him to attack the frog hemoth, though. And you also have to find a DM that's willing to RP 800 individual rats. Mm hmm. And you could play I... it like a swarm. But then their effectiveness is reduced, isn't it? Significantly. You yeah. could RP it like a swarm. I could. That's probably what I do. Mm -hmm. But if you were like, no, I want 800 individual rats, I'd be like, well, goodbye. Uh, you guys make it to Black Harbor. The very like bleach white building with like, the black lettering on it, with a, with a black uh, painting of an anchor on the f above the front door with a chain wrapped around the handle. Not a handle, the shaft. Or whatever that part of the ankle is called. Uh, yeah, what would you guys like to do? Enter, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah. You enter. Easy enough. Roll to enter. Uh, inside, you see the very similar uh, frantic energy that you saw earlier, Riley. Minus a lot of the, a lot of the um, reporters and news outlets that are there. Um, it's mostly just guard presence and just a lot of official looking people speaking to one another in like hushed tones and then being led to like what you assume are to be offices. Um, reception is still there. So, mm -hmm. hello again. Uh, welcome to Black Harbor. Um, uh, can, can, did you need any assistance? Uh, I found my friend, so that one's squared off. Um, the circumstance in which I found him is another story altogether. Are you familiar with the name Gravekeepers? I'm not. Mm. Then this will have no bearing on you. <clears throat> oh my god. That laugh that killed my, my vocal cords. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, that falls out of fucking Riley. <clears throat> A Samsung washing machine uh, exits right. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> No, what is that nothing. thing? <laughs> uh, what, what? Um, perhaps you could uh, report to your higher ups that uh, Sonny is working with the gravekeepers. I know that the warden here may know of that name, and we do know the warden, so um, well, we don't know that Sonny is working with the gravekeepers. We, we just know that Sonny has a connection because. Since any my regards could be something with positive or negative connotations. If you'd like me to report this to Warden Wesley, I can do that. Um, it may take a couple uh, minutes, if you don't mind waiting. We've got the time. Um, very well. Um, uh, Jonah, please. Uh, you see this like a younger guard. I sort of post it up, just like it looks like his arm is just a little bit too big for him. Like his helmet's sort of like jostling from one side to the other a little bit. Um, just runs up. She sort of just whispers something to him, and then the uh, guy nods and starts walking. Um, if you wouldn't mind, uh, please please take a seat. There's um, not a lot of space left, but um, yeah. I sit on the floor. Oh, that that works well. Uh, just please be mindful of foot traffic. But of course. Yeah. After about 10 minutes or something, 15 minutes or so, um, she's just there writing. People come in, talk to her, leave. People come in, talk to her, go to an office. Um, after a while, that kid comes back um, with, uh, you recognize Warden Wesley in tow. Uh, Farron Wesley. Uh, human guy. Um, older, but he looks like he's kept some of his youth. But his skin is starting to weather. But it's still perfectly black and palmated into a swept back form. Uh, he sort of just rose up. Ah, um, please, uh, come with me. 
Sure thing. Follow him. Yeah. Okay. And you're led to the same office that you were brought to before. The, all the winding corridors, the weird lights with like no windows in this hallway whatsoever. Um, passing people with red jumpsuits, guards, left hallway, right hallway straight, right hallway. It's confusing. But eventually you get to this store that looks like every other door in this building. He sort of opens the door and just sort of leaves it open as he enters. Well, we follow in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I only I'm have, carrying. Uh, I'm carrying Azic like how Jake Gyllenhaal carries his uh, his dog, like that. That's how I'm carrying Azic. Dude, that dog looks like. <laughs> he looks content. Is what he, he looks, looks like. He, it looks like he just did a sick bong rip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Want to learn about some apotheosis vessels, my scro? Ah, <coughs> dude. The Arm chosen. Now, one of us just started to sit down in his chair. Uh, black, spiked, decorated armor. Uh, he sort of just um, points to the single chair in front of him. Uh, one of you can take a seat. Um, I sit on the floor. All right. Um, let me yes, start sorry. with this. Um, how did you hear about Sunny? Um, heard some guards over uh, talking, like overheard some guards talking about it when we were doing a pass through uh, of the Black Harbor area last night on our way to get some uh, tickets to Tetscat via airship. Yeah, idiots. Um, I also heard it. Uh, with an encounter uh, with what I believe to be an assassin. Uh, you see the scar, the scar in my throat. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about these scars. <laughs> I don't know how I know. Are you, you going to ask him to, if he wants to see a magic trick? <laughs> Do you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> Do you want to see a magic trick? Because I can stab him and make them not scars anymore if you want. I'm, I'm going to snap at, at Chris and be like, Oi, focus. <laughs> so I conjure up a, a dagger. And... <laughs> and, um... You jam someone's head into it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I'm just going to use it as like a prop to, you know, kind of demonstrate um, what happened. But, uh, yeah, the... Uh, a kid... Which seemed to uh, try and pickpocket me. I tried to went af- go after him, and he ran into an alley, and I went to go and confront him. And uh, as I went there, yellow, orange smoke came, and I couldn't breathe. It couldn't hold my breath any longer, and I breathed in, and I fell paralyzed. And as I fell paralyzed, a man with a sn- snake mask came. A man or woman, and they uh, gave told to told the kid to uh, uh, send his regards to Sunny, and the kid ran up the wall and left. But the guy with the snake mask went and uh, and uh, with a dagger. Yeah, Dagger stabbed me and uh, left me there to die. But I was fortunately uh, found by a doctor and I was stabilized. And uh, and that's where the group found me and now we're here. Uh, we believe this snake man as part of the Grave Keepers. He sort of just um, like puts both his elbows on the table and just starts rubbing his eyes. Did you see where this Grave Keeper went? 
before you. Uh, uh, the last thing I remember was him walking away while humming a tune. Hmm. This doesn't bode well. Another thing is that the kid also had orange glowing eyes. I don't know what that means, but... What that means is that child that lured you into the alley works for Sonny. Um, how much do you know about the explosion from last night? Only that it was caused by Sonny. Alright, well, um, that information... Uh, well, true, I wouldn't go saying that. Sonny was, was um, let's call um, him a, Sonny was a, uh, let's call him a problem child. A um, couple years ago, almost a decade now, he killed everyone in his orphanage. And as he likes to say, set the children free. Except, not really. The kids look up to him. They um, do whatever he says. It was only a couple years ago, two years ago exactly, that we managed to capture Sonny. He went on a, a crime spree using the children as proxies. They, he sent kids, orphaned kids. They don't know anybody to just go small things at first. Just go pick this pocket, go steal that thing, and then eventually it turned into full-blown bank robberies, murders. It's When we caught him two years ago, they died down, but somehow, not sure how, there was a um, little bit of a distraction last night. Uh, it caused a bit of a kerfuffle, and that apparently put a little hole in our defenses. If one of their own managed to... Uh, Sneak by, slowly one of our ships, and break Sonny out. Sonny was, um, I'm not sure how much, <sighs> you, know, not sure how much you know about Black Harbor, but uh, we keep the regular inmates around the building, but the ones that are truly terrible, uh, we keep them at the bottom of the ocean. The... While the poison seas is a byproduct of the factory, it has its purposes. We put these criminals in pods and we have them magically create food and water so they subsist. Even if they broke out, there's no way uh, to get to the surface in time. They drown. If they could breathe underwater, they get poisoned anyway. Thought it was foolproof until, um, well, they stole one of our means to get down there to begin with. And when we were down one ironclad and we're down one of the crab apparatuses. And we're down one sunny heartbreaker. Mm. And you're telling me then that they're, what you're telling me at least, they were now working with one of the oldest assassination guilds on the planet. <sighs> it's quite the situation. I wish we could offer more aid, but unfortunately, we're scheduled to be on an uh, airship to Tetscat tomorrow morning. So if you need any assistance, tonight's the only night we can offer it. I appreciate the offer, really, I do, but frankly, I don't mean to offend, but you brought a gravekeeper to our city. That, I... For the safety of the public, I'd recommend that you advocate as soon as possible, but please, thank you for your information. Um, here, and he sort of just starts rummaging through some uh, coins. You hear jingling of coins. He pulls out, like, a small chest. It's not much, but... um. Your information is, we thought, we thought it was just another, uh, another prison break. But no one's ever broken out of that place, and now we're what they're working with, assassins. So this, you made us realize how much this is a grave situation. He sort of slides the chest forward. That's for your information. Um, if you see any children, any, anything suspicious, please let me know. Will do. Um, I'm going to motion to zero and say, do we really want to keep that whole chest? Kind of seems like they might need it for like resources and stuff. Right it, now. It's like a jewelry box type chest. Okay, so it's not like a whole like 
No, it's, it, it's like a whole chest, chest, whole ass chest. It's like a very small chest that you could hold in a hand. Okay, never mind. Then we'll definitely take that. Yeah, it's it's about football sized, give or take. All right. Okay, inside you see about three hundred coins, gold key pieces. All right, throw that in community. Uh, yeah. What's and you going see just starts. Three hundred gold. What's five plus three? Eight? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Got it. Didn't need a calculator for that one. <laughs> Mental math. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, where did you last see this um, child and where you got your um, their neck uh, uh, s- 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 sliced? Um, it's back. I was heading towards the... Um, academy just to look for a magic shop but um i guess it would be near the rail 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 yard barracks uh, the rail guard barracks you're so close to uh, all right thank you um let's see if i can send out more peacekeepers to see if they can sort this out so, do you happen to know anything about how the gravekeepers operate? Because if we do have a tip, but it might not be a tip if you're already privy to how it works. I know um, of them. I don't know. There's been a few assassinations in Silnia, but those are far and few between. I'm not even. We're not even sure if it's gravekeepers. Honestly, I just know them by name, reputation, even. This particular snake mask hides in the shadows. And it appears that they have some sort of uh no. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, they hide it. Would you know Mm -hmm. any gravekeeper by the name of the doctor? Uh, Doesn't sound familiar, but imagine if there were a secret organization of uh, assassins, they'd probably have code names, and imagine that's one of them. The doctor. Um that implies something. Maybe they have prior knowledge to um, the physiology of people, maybe. That would help you find the best places to stab, I'd imagine. Right, I'll conduct a search of um, any medical practices, see if they know anything about it, see if they know how this doctor works. Now, if you don't mind me asking, how would they get the jump on you? Um, well, you see... The organization that we are after that we had mentioned uh, earlier in our first encounter, um, they do not like the fact that we are interfering with their illegal operations uh, and have assigned this said uh, assassin to deal with us and no longer be an issue. And it's pretty effective so far, but um, I'm pretty sure we can fight back. Well, um, if you wouldn't mind just humoring me with a um, bit of advice. Um, from what I understand, assassins... Well, I'm not like, an expert by any means, but they tend to, if you want to work in the shadows. Uh, be, putting yourself in vulnerable situations is probably not a good idea. If you were singled out like that, maybe uh, keep that in check. Um, I doubt uh I doubt they're looking for a head on fight. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I believe we've learned sure. that lesson today. And if we haven't, well then, I'm gonna turn to Chris and say we might perish. <laughs> yes. We might. I don't like that response. <laughs> I don't like how you said might specifically. Just that word in general. Everything about it just seems very incorrect. They use that word differently back in your age. No. No, they use it the exact same way. Just might just doesn't seem like the right word there in general. I, I think will. 
Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Isn't it the same context as the word bite? Potatoes yeah. and potatoes. All right. Pretty much. Um, I've got some paperwork to fill out and some calls to make. Um, Silver, when did you say it was that you're after? We never said that. Never mind. I'm just, I just oh, don't remember the conversation from like ages ago. <laughs> Does he say that can- canonically? No, I just don't remember the conversation. I, th- I don't remember if you mentioned Silver or not. We didn't. I thought we did. Yeah. Because didn't we. Um, tell him about the judge? No, we told him. We told him about the judge, but we never name dropped Silverwind. We decided we made that as discreet as possible. All right. Because we don't know, like, if we say, if we tell a, a prison warden, yeah, no, we're after no. the biggest company on the, the continent, be like, ha, 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 maybe you're the infidel. Mm-hmm. Also, he could just be an agent of Silverwind. You never know. They seem like they're people have friends yeah. in high places. Yeah, I remember I we remember kept it vague for a reason. Yeah, I just don't remember that conversation, so I'm just making sure. Uh, so he doesn't see that. Uh, he sort of goes, uh, yeah, I got some paperwork to make. Um, I hope you don't mind, but uh, I'll hope you can see yourselves out. Um, yeah, no, of course. You're a busy fellow. Yeah, yeah, that's putting it lightly. Oh, well, thank you fun. again. Indeed. And, uh, stay safe. It's um, Gravekeepers don't have the uh, most uh, merciful reputation. No. There's some horror stories there. Right then, well, likewise. Stay safe, and uh, hopefully you guys figure out this sunny situation. Um, we've done all we can for now. It's, it's more than enough. And uh, please just... Um, the official story is that the ironclad ship was an accident. Um, don't want citizens panicking that our prisons aren't safe enough. Hope you, mm. hope you understand. Our lips are sealed. It's fantastic. All right, please. Uh, I'll need some time to think. Mm. All right. Well, All right, that's the yeah. way. Well, back to the inn then. Okie dokie. Whoa. Right. Yep. Weather's still rainy, but you may you managed to make your way back to the Eagle Point Inn. It's um a little bit past midday now. Oh, uh, is uh, Rannon around? Rannon is up. He still seems a little bit sleepy, but he is uh cleaning glasses, getting ready for the uh uh evening rush. There are a couple people here already, just mostly to stay out of the rain, it seems. Normally this place is just filled with what looks like mercenary adventuring types but these guys some of them are just guys they're just here to get just to grab a drink maybe wait for the weather to pass uh i'm gonna pull ran in aside real quick and i'm gonna say ran in um we've had some very interesting run-ins today and don't trust any child in the city that's all right uh, okay. Uh, never was a fan of little shits anyway. Oh, especially if their eyes are glowing orange. I'd imagine that's um, a bad sign for anybody. Especially children. Honestly, if their eyes are glowing orange, just just uh, either walk away or, you know, maybe blast them. Do you want me to just, just pulp a child? Yes. Ignore her. She doesn't know what the times are about. Just avoid them at all costs. Making them sound real spooky. They well, are. Look at our friend. Check out this dude's throat. I point to my scars. Stabbed in the throat. Yeah. 
and you're alive. By some, some fucking stretch. <laughs> Shit. Maybe you're tougher than I picked you for. Some of these guys, the lost guys, getting stabbed in the throat, and you here you are walking like a goddamn zombie. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> zombie. <laughs> well, regardless, keep an eye out on yourself. We're going to be leaving the city tomorrow morning, so. All right. Uh, I don't remember when these your shits expired. I'm going to say it's paid for. Um, sure. You know what? I'll toss you an extra. Mm, let's go two gold coins just for the hospitality. Fix this place up. You know, maybe uh, the city guard comes back in or whatever his face was. The guy who likes to fight and just, uh, eh, it's more of an insurance policy than anything else. That's, uh, it's much appreciated. I'd, um, get those windows replaced like a week every week. Jeez. Uh, blue one. He sort of just like he just whips a beer bottle at you. Oh, thank you. It's on the house. That's that's a um for the pain, I'd imagine. Yeah, definitely a lot of pain. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should reflect on that. I'm gonna chug the beer. <laughs> okay. It actually it hurts swallowing anything. Like it feels like it feels like you're swallowing like like big marbles of stone, but you get it down. It hurts. It sucks. It stings a little bit because there's still some wound left, and it's just just running alcohol over it. But yeah, um, it's probably marginally cleaner, and you're also marginally more drunk. Do I make a constitution? No, it, it's <laughs> a beer. It's not. It's not Tosakis. Um, Riley. Is going to lighten the mood with the song. A nice jaunty tune, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're just gonna bust out the old loot. Sure do. Sure, make a performance check. This should go well. That's gonna go really well. I rolled for something. I'm not sure. Totally sure why. What is this role? I don't even know. Um, like the four or five people in there, they uh, they get into it. They start they start like raising drinks, clashing together, start like pat, like slamming their hands against their knees, like trying to uh, get in the rhythm. A couple of them toss a couple of coins at you. Nothing major. No, like, I don't uh, think so. Let's call it like uh, twenty three silver and about eight copper altogether. Sure. That's an eight, and that's a twenty three. Okay. Okay. Um, while Riley's performing, anyone else like to do anything? Drink. Can I uh, gamble? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I want. I need some money. There's an anime <sighs> character that is this. Is that they need money, so they're going to cheat people out of it using gambling. I swear, to, it's probably from something. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Jenna, you're going to just. Grab some drink. Ooh wee. Mm -hmm. Okay, what drink are you getting? What does he have? He's got ale, he's got beer, he's got wine. Mm, let's do wine. Got wine. Do you want a pitcher or a bottle? What's bigger? Uh the pitcher, right? Probably the pitcher. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's it's wine technically. Sure. Cool. That'll be two silver coming from you. Cool. Uh, okay. Anybody else? I'm just gonna hang out the for, at the bar for a bit and see if anything interesting comes up. Okay. Um, of course, over the next couple of hours, it's just more people start rolling in. A lot more armored people. Uh, the guys that are uh, just normal guys start getting a little bit pressured by the dudes just covered head to toe in like crossbow bolts and axes. So they, they leave just braving the weather. Um, beyond that, other than more contests, not much. 
Okay. I can uh, gamble with the dice, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, sure. Just make a make a deception check with advantage. Yeah, you you start gambling, just like at the um, as these sort of mercenary types start pouring in, uh, and they got some coin on them. Uh, let's see if any of them notice that you're bullshitting them. Nope. So you managed to get like four or five just really good takes from this. Uh, a lot of um, just a lot of half drunk, not really thinking. Like just mercenary start, um, just th thinking they can beat this scrawny, just just meek wizard. But no, using using your bullshit dice, you managed to get a good amount from them. Uh, between the four or five of them, you get probably get uh, let's call it seventy eight gold. Seven, seventy eight. Oh, seventy eight. Wow. Yeah, just did it at the right time. There we go. Yeah. One dude, the, the dwarf guy that you think he competed with a couple days ago, he, he was your biggest take. He, he kind of like half of that. Every, every time he lost, he was like, another! And then he would just throw down more gold. You'd win another! <laughs> he just kept going until eventually he was annoyed enough that people had to buy him drinks, and then he just passed out. He's been, he's been here a long time. <laughs> cool. Uh, Zero, are you doing anything? Um, I would like to go down to my room with Azric. Okay. Cool, and I guess once we're alone, I'm going to, like, set him down on a table or, I don't know, nightstand or something and just ask him, like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's not making eye contact with you. Doesn't say anything either. Hmm. I'm gonna tell him I killed a kid. You killed a what? I killed a child. He's he finally looks up. Why? I just shrug. Thought I had to. Didn't know kids were that squishy. He's just like make he used, he was making eye contact, and then he just sort of just looks down again, just looking around. Can you tell me what happened? After a long pause, he eventually just says, nothing. Okay. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> just for things. Okay. As you say, okay, he sort of just looks up with weird surprise before just looking off to one side and then just looking back at you and then just fluttering up and hopping onto your shoulder. Thanks. I'm going to give him a little scratch. And I'm just going to say, uh, when you're ready, if you want to, we can talk, but you don't got to, you don't have to. Uh, for the first time in, I think ever, he doesn't shy away from your scooch. <laughs> oh. You completely cut out. Hmm? You cut out. Yeah, for the first time in a while, I, I think, I don't think ever, he, uh, this time, as you're sort of just scritching him, he doesn't seem annoyed. He's actually just accepting it. 
He just he just goes, okay. I think Yuzero is just going to chill in the room for the rest of the night. All right. Cool. Uh, anybody else want to do anything before? It's like, it's not even evening time at this point. We just got to wait for the, uh, wait for the airship. Pretty much. Um, yeah. I'm going to oh. copy down my spells. Ah, you can do that. So you got first level spell, third level spell. I think, what, two hours each spells thing? So that's going to be uh, eight hours total. Okay. Okay, so you'd have to take eight hours of copy that down, plus another four hours of rest if you want to, which would yeah. bring you um, 12 hours total, which if you do that now, that would actually be almost perfect. You'd okay. be waking up, you'd be finished at like around 5.30. Sounds good. Yeah, and the ship comes in at 6, so you're going to be a little bit late for the landing, but you were told that's when it lands. You're not sure when it, could take, when it actually takes off, so... What time is it right now? Like, um, as I'm talking to Azic, I guess. Checking your watch is like five thirty. Nope. It's oh, not. it's not that late. It's, it's nope. It's three thirty. Three in the afternoon. Yeah, so it's not even evening at this point. Okay. Um. You have to be light still. I okay. I, I thought it was like super late in the evening. I I do want to go back upstairs, I guess, and I want to, uh, kind of just pull. Riley and Chris and Deirdre and I mean I have everybody I guess aside and um, I'm just gonna ask if I can talk to them really fast like downstairs. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so you pull them onto one of, one of your guys' rooms. Cool. And so as soon as I shut the door, I'm gonna turn to them and be like, so. Uh, I fucked up. We were being followed by one of Sonny's kids, and I thought something really bad was happening because Azek disappeared, and I was scared, and I killed the child. Was it? It was one of Sonny's kids, you said. Yeah. Oh, well, better the child than you, then. I... I That's... Don't I... I don't know that that's really helpful. I think it was just a kid working for somebody who's definitely not good, but it was just a child. And so I was going to ask if there's anything we could do for him, um, looking at Deirdre, or if not, I was wondering if when the sun goes down, if you guys can help me go and like bury him or something, because I feel terrible. Oh, in that's where this is going. Oh, wow. A few hours, I can prepare some spells and some ceremonies to put him to rest. If you'd like, we can also ask him a few questions. Maybe ask him about his family, or maybe even we can learn the truth about a little bit of truth about, you know, Sunny. That's up to you guys. I feel like I've done enough. Uh, so I'm good with just laying him the rest. But, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll need a few hours to prepare the spells. I saw you then. Alright, I'll let you guys know when they're ready. Okay. So, so they're just going to leave. It will take uh, 12 hours for me to sleep and do the spells. Yeah, I missed the time earlier. It will take, still take you 12 hours, but it'll probably put you, assuming you start now, it would be, I guess you were actually doing um, some cheating people out of their money for a little bit, which probably takes like an hour. Yeah. Um, so it probably put you around actually closer to like 4 35 o'clock. Okay. Assuming you did it without actually doing anything else. Okay, sounds good. All right, and I'm. Can I go and start taking my long rest right now so I can prepare my spells a little bit again? Yep, so in probably about. Uh, yeah, if you're not doing anything, you weren't doing anything else earlier today. No, I was so. just hanging out. Yeah, so yeah, it'll probably take you to like seven o'clock. Yeah. Cool. Uh, anything else anyone would like to do in this time? 
No. Okay. Oops, that is, uh, that's right. Cool. Sure. So you guys just sort of just whittle the days away. Uh, Chris, you begin like just copying, like, I'm assuming, like how you do your regular normal study notes in IRL. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're sort of just like just looking at the textbook and then you're like copying it down, like, and then there's like certain arcing clues you have to like match perfectly, like a connect the dots game. Um, but yeah, you are doing that. Deirdre, you managed to re re oh. uh, you contact Jesus Christ and tell him to ship you some new spells. Excellent. Cool. And evening hits. The sun beginning to set. At this point, it basically already has, given the pretty tall walls that Sylvia has. And I now benefit from my thing, and I don't have to burn another little spell slot. Mm. Bless. You're welcome. Thank you. I regret giving you that. Should you? Yeah. Perhaps. We haven't even seen Deirdre in combat yet. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just. I know. I already knew that Jesse was going to just destroy everything. But then I just give him like a way. I just still gave a, like a, a marine like a minigun essentially. <laughs> they could already could have snapped my neck, but no, I just gave him even better stuff to kill me with. It's fine. oh yeah. Yeah, I got a very nice apotheosis vessel. Ooh. I hate life. Is there a <laughs> way to quickly put the spells in the spell list? I can do that for you. Oh, okay. Was it Featherfall and Fly Ramp? Yeah. Um... Why did I give you fly? I'm really glad you chose just regular spells. Otherwise, if it was from a book, I'd have to copy that at the end of the game. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Evening hits. You guys all reconvene except for Chris, unless you choose to interrupt your schedule. Nope. Okay. Um, Sure, but you guys reconvene. I'm assuming everyone's there except Chris, right? Yeah, because he's copying his spells, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Zero, you gonna leave them to the body? Yeah. Okay. Wait, we're leaving Chris alone again? He's sleeping. It's fine. That's not fine. I'm staying behind. Okay. Doesn't he have to like study? Like he can't stop what he's doing anyway. He's got PETs in the morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> SATs to the Americas. Cool. Um, but here you bring them. You bring your party to the body. I'm gonna put on some less happy music. <laughs> Can you play some taps? Dude. Do you know chopsticks? Uh, I could, but I don't really want to. Um, the Gravekeeper song. Okay. But yep, Zero guides uh, Jenna and Deirdre to the. Uh, I guess Jenna and Zero guide Deirdre to the corpse of the child. You open the rotted door, revealing a uh, sort of pushing the pallet to reveal this just destroyed corpse. There's a gaping hole where the sternum is with like an exit wound there, and like the jaws like crushed inward towards the skull. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I, I have to describe describe it. Murder child. I was actually wondering how long it would take for one of you guys to murder a kid, because I'm pretty sure that's like a D and D rite of passage. Yeah, pretty much yeah. from what I've seen. There's there's going to be accidental children death. Accidental children death. Usually, at least in critical role, there's an accidental children death. 
Okay. I mean, we accidental. Mm-hmm. Second handily already killed a child, kind of. What are you talking about? Nancy. Oh. Could have done yeah. more. Aren't we gonna land in Fairhaven? Can't we check on her again? Do I wanna take a bet to know if she's still there or not? Still <laughs> There's nothing else we could have done. There's nothing else we could have done. We'll see. But anyways, does anyone have any questions they would like to ask? Zero's not. Jenna? Huh? Any questions you'd like to ask? Um like who did like I guess we kind of know some of the stuff already. Like, where were you going? Okay, I'm gonna kind of speak with Dead. Okay. Um, trying to look at the specifics of that. Uh, uh I get five okay. questions. Yeah, I'm just, and I'm just only knows what I do in life. It's not compelled to answer truthfully. Uh, wait, does the corpse still have a mouth? Uh. Sort of. <laughs> it has like an upper lip. The That's lower ambiguous. Lip got pushed into its medulla oblongata. Does it have enough of a mouth? Yeah, probably. All right. Uh. Cool. So you cast right, a spell. Yeah. Yeah, I cast a spell. Uh. Okay. Where are you going? So you cast a spell. It. You sort of. You pull the kid out of the um the wall essentially so just lay it there and you cast a spell you see, you see all three of you see like almost like this green blue special which sort of just suck into the kid's chest as you hear this horrible like sucking sound like <laughs> as air is seeming to be funneling through what's left of its face into his lungs as it sort of just like just like his bones snapping as it sort of rises up. And it's just sitting there. Where were you headed before you died? One of its like sort of bloodshot eyes just sort of darts towards you. Home. Hmm. Uh, were you under Sunny's control willingly? Yes. Okay. What's Sunny after? But... You guys think why would be a good follow up to that? I was like, can we just get more specific? Yeah, I can get as specific as we'd like. We got two questions left. Um, Zero's going to speak up and say, why were you watching us? As it sort of just coughs up some blood and it just hits the floor, you see, you see that it's sort of like congealed, almost like this like jelly substance now. Can we ask where Sunny is now? What do you even know? I don't know. That's why I don't want to outright ask. Because, I mean, it's not actually bringing a spirit back, it's just. The animating force of the body can't speculate about future events. So unless it knew in life, it won't know now. Maybe we could ask where we might find Sunny, where Sunny usually is. We could ask how we contact Sunny. Okay. Alright. 
How do you usually contact Sunny? As, 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 as that last word, the almost pseudo life that you brought back to this corpse fades as like the one bloodshot eye and the one normal eye just goes glassy eyed again as it just as the corpse of this child just hits the floor again. Hmm. Well. Simon, where are we right now? You said like at the edge of the wall, right? Yeah, you're like right up against the wall in a building that's sort of built up against it. If we wanted to walk out of town, just not that far, but just far enough to like hit some open dirt for us to like, I mean, I guess, do we even have things to like dig with right now? I got skeletons, they can dig. Okay. Yeah. How how long would it take for us to get to like an open area to, to put the body somewhere? Um if you want to go the fastest route, you do want to go through the south entrance. But that is also where the uh railed guard barrack is, and you'd be carrying a dead corpse through there. Not if um, you stuff it into a bag of holding. There's that too. But you, the shortest route would be rail guard district. If you don't want to stuff in a bag of holding, you just want to carry it through, you'd probably want to go um either the east entrance or the west entrance, but you'd have to go through more city to get there. Are you going to put it in your bag of holding? If that's the route we go. If that's what you're okay with. Well, I keep skeletons in there anyways. Okay. Okay, so you just uh, put this uh, child into the bag of holding. Um, it's not too difficult. It, it's just skirting the sort of width of the bag of holding, but it's the child's the body's small enough that it doesn't tear or anything. Where it's not going to be trouble to get into. Okay, you're walking out of town for a little bit. Yeah, okay. yeah I guess we're just going to go south. Sure. See, so I'm going here. Oops, through there around the wall. You probably want to explode. Uh, go around the explosion zone. Um, yeah, it, it'd be a couple of miles, but you can get there in like 45 minutes or so. Okay. Okay, even if you find like a, um, oops. Yeah, about a mile out from the explosion zone where you can see all these sort of charred grass and just destroyed trees behind this wall. You go a ways away from there, so if something happens there, it's not going to affect the grave or anything. Uh, you command the skeletons to start digging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, they're not shovels, so it does take a while, and there's only two of them. Um, yeah. So it'll, it'll take a little bit to get through, but it'll, and after another 30, 45 minutes or so, eventually you have a decent hole dug. All right, I'm gonna cut the body in, and I'm gonna start ritual casting gentle repose. Okay. Uh. okay. So you start uh, you start casting it as a ritual as you sort of just lay the corpse of the child into the grave. Um, just put its put his hands over his chest, just close his eyes. Um, after you cast the ritual, you start muttering the words, just, uh, put the copper pieces on the eyes. Um, and just all. And just underneath from your robes, a bunch of sort of maggots start 
seeping out from you, basically. And they start encompassing the child's body, but they don't chew through like you'd imagine or something. They almost like begin to melt into his skin, and it, it almost becomes solidified for a little bit. It's like a warm embrace. I hate everything about that. Zero throws up again. <laughs> from the pun or the fact that this, this child that you murdered is Both. now covered in maggots. Both. Yeah, and the child still there, still looks like the child, but it looks like the skin almost has this weird glossy exterior to it now for ten days. <laughs> I nod at my skeletons and they begin to pile the dirt back onto the corpse. Okay. Yep, and less time this time, about ten minutes or so. They start shoveling the dirt back onto it, and they start uh, river dancing on top of the grave to uh, stamp it down. All right. That's that. Okay. You guys head back to the end? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that would take an... about that many. In the meantime, Riley and Chris, are you doing anything? Chris is studying. Riley, are you doing anything? Making sure Chris doesn't die. Okay. You see, like, an Aldred's tentacle, like, destroy his door as just and starts choking to death. Um, Great. Okay. But eventually you do make it back to the point in. Um, later in the night, the rain has not stopped. It just turned to a light drizzle at this point. Um, some people are still uh, clearing out of the... trying to clear out of the rain as best they can. A um, lot more busy here now. A lot, of, lot more of the mercenary types. You see there's already a broken window. Um, yeah. Night's yours. The night is ours? Yeah, it's probably close to like 9 o'clock at this point. By the time they went over there, did their shit, came back. Oh, okay. Just gonna wait for uh, day to come so we can get on the airship and get out of here. Okay. Yeah, wait until day. Sure. Okay, there's nothing else. You guys rest. The ones that need to rest for 8 hours, rest for 8 hours. Um, okay. Sarah's so gonna like pray before they go to bed and then, yeah, just apologize or whatever. Sure. Uh, make a religion check. Do you imagine that's how actually like God talked to you? You just like <laughs> God sends you an email. Yeah. <laughs> You've got mail. It's God. Isn't that from like Bruce Almighty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how bad it would feel if, like, you did see a text conversation, God, and you see God typing, typing, <laughs> and then nothing, and then they just never sent anything? <laughs> the three dots. No response. God said at 6 p.m. Bad. <laughs> okay. The morning comes. Uh, Chris, you're just finishing up your study. 
Um, you're working on the fly and you're just, uh, on the fly spell and you're just, you're just finishing up the last arcane rune copy in the book. Um, as people start waking up, you hear the shuffling of bedding, yawns, the sort of just shuffling feet and just this lazy stamping as they sort of get ready for uh, the day. Um, you guys reconvene about five o'clock or so. Oh, I, I did a rest in that time, right? You did, yeah. That's on the point. airship then. Well, first we need to grab our steeds, then we can hit the airship. Oh yeah, right, we all have so... all of that. Then. Okay, you guys grab your uh, your horses and oh. your bear. Uh, you probably owed them money, but I don't remember what, so I guess you don't know. It's free. It's free. Ha ha ha. Fuck you. The horses don't remember economics. the register. <laughs> we boomers at the grocery store, yeah. God, don't even fucking at me about boomers at the grocery store. Is this coupon from 1987 still valid? <laughs> There's a customer at work that was really anal about the fact that they had to pay five cents more. Five like, cents? Mm-hmm. Like, they're like, um, I, I, I don't want to pay the government any more money. They literally went to another post office for that. They just took their shit and allowed. I was like, all right. Okay. <laughs> Not my problem. You, they probably spent more money going to another post office. Than more, just... Yes. Yeah. They, yeah, they, they exactly. want to give that. They really don't like the government, apparently. Five cents. It's not even, that's, that's, that's like, what? Fucking one-tenth of a coffee. Not even... Oh, but you guys get to the um Jesus. Yeah, you you guys get to the uh the wind nest. Uh you enter the sort of carpenter's work area again. Um not as busy, but there's still some people there. They seem like some people are either just working constantly or there's like shifts. Who knows? Um sort of scent of sawdust just pervades your senses. The sound of just frantic hammering, just grinding of just wood fills the air. Uh, you see the tall tower, just various airships docked um, at this point, the time it takes you to get there, probably about an hour and a half. So, um, this, There's some sun hitting it, just, just sort of cresting above the wall. Uh, yeah, there's sort of the tall, almost a uh, column like towel, tower, uh, just various airships is docked, just being repaired or refitted, generally mismaintained. Um, just the silhouette and the light almost makes it look like a big tree, which is kind of weird. Uh, so you see a few airships just being waxed and polished, just having their names painted back on, replacing sails and planks. Uh, you see one ship that seems like it's been just been really warped, like badly, like a piece of driftwood at sea. Uh, or your old wagon that you used to have. Um, you see that ship is sort of leaking like this blue sort of mist that sort of gently rises and dissipates. Uh, you do see like a pretty uh, decently sized airship, uh, rickety and covered in dirt. It has a three sets of large balloons, like blimps, uh, that are in the midst of being worked on by people. You see just a couple of figures climbing in and out. And on the sides of the ship and the balloons are the words in very crude brown paint, the brown shit. <laughs> Is that the ship that we're getting on? The, the brown shit. Only the best for the Zodiacs. <laughs> this pretty uh-huh. much falls in line with the rest of our travels, so I mean, eh, you get by where you can. Ah, uh, yes. The Chosen of the Gods. Fearsome warriors traveling on their fearsome ship, the brown shit. Ugh. Guys, this is the nicest way we've ever left town before. Right? Let's keep it that way as she makes direct eye contact with Chris. Again. <laughs> Chris has never been on an airship. I think only one of you has been on an airship before. Is this airship a Samsung? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Samsung. <laughs> he sounded exactly exactly like the boneless pizza guy. <laughs> All right, let's board the airship. The airship. Um, <laughs> before, <laughs> before I go on the airship, um, I'm going to go into an alley and I cast Disguise Self. Okay. Um, easy enough. You're not like super into the dockyard yet. Um, sure. What are you disguising off as? Luca? What do you think looks, lo yeah. looks like? <laughs> yeah. So basically, Luca. basically a, a hooded figure with like a just like pretty almost feminine almost like lower like lower jaw and then just shadow like an anime character above that yeah all right <laughs> cool you guys approach i imagine yep cool uh, approaching the wind nest uh sort of the same i think it's half work uh notices your approach and just begins to stand up to meet you hey there uh, good to see you um Brown ship is the brown shit has docked. Uh, it seems like it'll take a little bit of time to actually get it back into running condition. Um, from a herd, it got into a bit of a scrap with some harpies. It seems. Uh, you can board if you want, but it'll be a couple of hours before you can. You're all set to fly. We'd be delighted to board, but please tell me more about the scrap with the harpies. Does the ship have uh, some kind of guard staff on it, or is that something that there's, we're gonna have to be worried about? Uh, there's um, there's guards, but um. Honestly, um, brown shit, even by floater class, uh, floater class standards, it's it's a bit of a mess. Um, it, it seems their captain is a little bit eccentric. Um, I mean, they're official and you know, and everything, but it's um, right. So, if we get attacked, what's the procedure? They got weapons. Um, two of them are apparently very unique, um, but it, it's it's mostly they're able to fend they fend off the harpies. It's mostly just them tearing up the the balloons. All right. So we're not expected to part participate at all. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking at the time. I'm so sorry. So who said what? Who said what? Go ahead. No, you. So we're not expected to participate in this at all. I, uh, I mean, most people don't. But uh, honestly, if you're looking at your kid, you guys can see if you can handle yourself. Um, up to you, honestly. If you feel like your safety's at risk, you can get participate. But normally, it's supposed to be the, uh, the 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 crew member's job to deal with that. It's the airships are other than the occasional pirate or harpies, honestly. Uh, there's not too much to worry about in the sky. So it's honestly it's statistically safer to fly. Are there any mechanics on the ship? Uh, yeah, that's um, one of the part of the floater classes that there's a lot of mechanics. Well, not the mechanics isn't the right words. They're they're bosons. They um they just tend to the day to day. Um, the Florida classes, they use these, uh, these Arcanite engines to power them. Uh, but because Florida classes are on the cheaper end, they compensate for the lack of engines for more balloons. Balloons are cheaper, but, um, they're also a big target. Hence the harpies. Uh, That's what I didn't mean to bore you with the statistics of the airships. I just no, no. I'm most, you know, my biggest concern is that we get to our destination via this ship. So, if in an event where we are attacked and unable to salvage uh, the, the boat itself, uh, that would be unfortunate. But I am very, very glad to hear that we will have uh, mechanics on board in order to you know, fix any situation that may come to be. Yeah, pretty as far as I'm aware, the floater class crew, they all they all know how to patch patch up the balloons. Balloons are the biggest weak spot. Right, well good enough for me. Thank Shall you we board? Well. Seems like you I'm sorry, what? I'm ready to board. You all ready to board? Any more questions before you board on? I'd be happy to answer them. Who are we talking to right now? Uh, I 
don't think he asked his name. Uh, uh, name's Victor. What's your position, Victor? Yeah, uh, mostly just a. Uh, uh, it's complicated. I work as sort of a manager. I run the um, so just a lot of the guys here. I also work with a clerk occasionally, but like mm-hmm. ask for raise, officer. Victor. You're doing a great job. I I try. I fairly said. I don't know if I'm great job, but I I do. You're doing a great job. Can um, you please direct me to the captain? Yeah, uh, I believe he's somewhere up on the dock. Um, if you don't mind me taking your tickets, I can uh, set them in so you can uh, actually head up onto one of the docks there. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're good. Let me see your tickets then. Um, as Victor proceeds to take all your tickets, just one by one, uh, stamping them with a symbol that looks like a, almost like a windmill in black ink. Uh, he tears off a perforated section and stores it, stores it in some file of cabinets he has on the, in the back. All right. Uh, you all should be set to board. Just show your uh, stamp ticket to the lady behind the desk on the inside, and she'll get someone to guide you to the right platform. Sounds great. Thank you very much. No worries. Safe travels. Remember, airship statistically is the safest way to fly. You keep saying that. It's true. I mean, you're less likely to run to a bandit because bandits don't have airships. Uh, I mean, I guess that's statistically true for the most bandits part. Wolves in the in the air, but there's harpies. Potentially, but who has to deal with harpies these days? No one but the airships, and they're prepared for that sort of thing. That works for me. I'm going to start heading up to the dog. Okay, so as you guys sort of file in, um, inside this building's pretty wide, but inside you see like a large spiral staircase that wraps around a central column. Uh, the column itself is fairly wide, about 40 feet in diameter, from what you can see. And the staircase is about 20 feet from wall to wall. Uh, inside you see people just running up and down the stairs carrying planks of wood and just nails, tools, whatever. In the central column you see is a desk and sort of gated archway that leads actually into the interior of the column. Uh, behind the desk is a young human woman accompanied by the... Sorry, currently in the middle of conversation with a sort of older, gruff-looking gnome man accompanied by a few human young guys who appear to be sorting out just huge amount of lumber and boxes on a cart. Um, after about 20 seconds of conversation, the woman sort of stamps some, some paper and hands it to the man, who then turns to the two kids sorting out the wares nods its head towards the arched gateway. Uh, two armed guards with the rifles open the gate for him, and the two kids pull the wagon through into the central column. Uh, after a minute of conversing with some sort of figure hooded, it seems like, on the inside, the hooded figure pulls a lever, and you see a set of metal bars close around them as a platform begins to rise up, bringing them and the wagging upwards out of view. Uh, the woman at the desk's attention turns to you. Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, Windness Skyport. Uh, how can I be of assistance today? Um, looking to board the... Uh... We want to be inside the brown ship. The brown... Uh, yes. Um, let me check its status. Uh, he, she starts like thumbing through a couple pages in like, a huge fucking ledger. Brown... There we are. It seems the, uh, the brown... <clears throat> uh, that airship is currently in repairs. It seems that um, they may take a few hours as they replace components, patch up some balloons, float a class, it seems. Uh, do a bit of maintenance and just refuel the ship. Um, if you'd like, I can guide you to the ship where you can possibly meet the captain. I believe he's up there somewhere. Yeah, uh, Jenna, you wanted to meet the captain, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, about Giorgio, I'm guessing. Ooh, okay. Um, before that, uh, Riley is going to ask, um, before any of that, would it be possible if I inquired who uh, you were talking to before us? Oh, he's just um, a merchant. Uh, uh, airships require a lot of lumber, a lot of tools to maintain, so he's just bringing them up. It was just lumber? Lumber and tools, it seems. It seems. Did you actually check the cargo? Uh, that's part of the... Um, they do that on the dock, usually. There's a lot more cards there. Okay. Plus, the captain is they know what they need. If they don't see what they need, they'll, they'll complain to me. All right, then. Who 
Was the merchant a freelancer or did it work for anyone specific? Uh, it seems like he worked with some people in the Granite Forest, just sort of locking that area. Okay. Thank you for your time. Of course. Um, would you like to head to the dock or would you, do you have some business? Yes. Uh, yeah, to the dock. Let's go to the dock. All right. Um, Timothy. Uh, sort of just as uh, a very young kid, like 15, looks like this is like his first job or something. Uh, big mop, like haircut that like his just cover his eyes. Uh, can you bring these uh, uh, people up to the uh, dock number three? And the kid sort of goes, I can do that. Uh, hey, um, just follow me. I'll bring you to the docks. Uh, it's called the, the brown poop. Yeah, that's the one, right? <laughs> sure. Sir, I, I, yeah, sir. I, I can't curse. It's uh, part of my religion. Um, right. Yeah. Which the religion? ten. What's your religion? Uh, it's the ten. Uh, uh huh. Which right. god won't let you swear? I I, I, I want to. Okay, I want to check that. Would that be a religion check or an insight check? That'd be an insight check. Oof. It seems like he worships the ten. Do I recall any? Uh, documents that say that you can't swear? Uh, no. Oh, you're talking. Uh, the kid sort of just goes, it's Dune. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the, 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 the god of order and law. I, I, I want to be as, as upstanding as I can, so you know, I, I don't want any of that, that, that dirty bad stuff in my mouth. I'm going to give him a little right. pat on his head. <laughs> He's like 15. He's I... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Thanks. like like flip flip him a silver like I'm flipping him a quarter. I'm like you, you're doing great, kid. Oh, gee, thanks. I uh, you, you look you kind of funny there. Huh? Oh, never mind. It's rude of me to uh, to 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 to, to uh, mention that. So it's okay. Um, I'm sorry. Yes. I'll give you twenty five gold if you swear right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> make make a persuasion check. Jesus, it's I don't, a religious okay. kid. What if I don't <laughs> really want to burst? I'm testing him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I appreciate the offer, ma'am, but I I take my vows very seriously, and you know I I I haven't swore ever since I was born. So I would like to keep the track record going. She'll give him one gold and be like, "Good, that was a test. You passed." Oh, thank you. See, he sort of looks up and says, thank you for awarding me, Lord. And he just, he starts, uh, uh, starts like waddling up the stairs, happy that he made uh, 20 bucks and a half. 20, 20 bucks, bucks and a quarter. Half. 20, 20 bucks and one tenth. Of 20 bucks, what I think is two. 22 bucks. Okay. Um, the spiral staircase, spiral, spiral, Jesus, spiral staircases take a good long while to get there. It's pretty. It's still pretty wide. So there's a lot of people going up and down. It seems like they need the space to just to bring a lot of tools, sometimes livestock, including yours. The, the stairs are actually pretty wide to accompany livestock, it seems. Um, but after a good, like, solid three, four minutes of just straight stair climbing, uh, he seems a little bit gassed. But he's, oh, well, uh, here we go. Um, dock number three, the, the brown poop is, is there. Uh, I believe the captain is there. He has um, he's he's, he's funny. Um, you can talk to him and 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 just you know just to show the attendant your ticket and they should take it from you and you should be set to go. Uh, why is the captain yeah, why is he funny? funny? Uh, he has a funny nickname. <laughs> what do they call him? The shitlord or something? Uh, he starts covering his ears. The poop lord. Can, can you give me like the the PG ver the Disney version? I, I, I think. What's it Disney? You can talk to him right there if you want to. He's he's. I think he'd be funnier if he says it. I wave the captain down. He's just sort of in the middle of just some conversation. Uh, he, you see that he's he's a human guy. Um, pretty short for a human guy. Uh, you see that he's wearing like a traditional. Like, like what you what you consider a stereotypical pirate hat. Uh, you notice he is missing a leg. He has like some sort of uh, like a peg leg, but the bottom of the peg is shaped like a foot. But it's not like a boot. It's just straight up a foot. Um, and he sort of just like looks at you. Uh, 
he gives like a big smile, but he's missing most of his teeth. Uh, his, he's pretty dark skinned, and he has uh, this big, like, really bushy, uh, almost scraggly, almost puby hair, like for a beard. Captain Ballsack, where is this going? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he sort of waves off the guy he's talking to um, and starts like limping towards you. Hey, how can I help you? Hi, sir. I am Jana. I'm not sure if anyone talked to you yet, but I'm supposed to talk to you about a special little passenger. Oh, and I'm going to. Oh, you are. Uh... George on the head. Oh, that bear yours? Yes, sir. He Not starts just like he started like kneeling down. He's like, "Oh, who's the little boy there?" Giorgio's gonna love it. He's gonna be on his best behavior. <laughs> Ask him to bring him on. Yes, yes, what sir. Fucking course you can. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. We, I don't know what I'd do if we were ever separated. I'm assuming you're my passengers then, the uh, five year and your four horses and the, the good little boy here. Mm-hmm. Four horses. Did we get a fourth horse? Three horses and a bear. No, we have four horses. Wait, yeah. no. Well, yeah, four. Wait. Yeah, there's five, yeah, there's five, five, like five minus however wolf many of us minus one at any time. Oh yeah, yeah wolf gang. Yeah, wolf gang. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, guy, as I have him in my head. <laughs> well, fix your head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I want. I wanted to call him guy. Yeah, I also want to call him guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, sucks to be you guys. <laughs> Uh, Jana wants to go on. Jana wants to go in for the handshake and be like, uh, "I didn't catch your name, sir." I'm Captain Duvalius Dupont. You can call me Captain Dudu. <laughs> she will laugh out loud. Be like, "That's excellent." Captain of the brown shits. As the kids are, like, I'm <laughs> not hearing you. I'm gonna go now. La 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 la. And he starts walking down the stairs. <laughs> So, you know, my passengers, uh, you are the only passengers I have. So, make yourself at home. Feel free to tour the ship. I'll give you a guided tour once we're all ready to set sail. Uh, if, if you're not busy, I'd like to ask you a quick question about your ship and your travels. Yeah. Yeah, so I hear you got into a scrap with some harpies. Is there combat up there often? Uh, give a tell. It's uh, probably one in ten. Pretty common. But we have countermeasures. <laughs> All right. I hope equal parts that I get to see them and that I don't have to. Well, don't call me a kit. You seem well prepared. I don't think if we get attacked, I don't have anything to worry about. Right. Well, are we good to board the ship for now? See to our chambers or what have you, whatever of course, amenities of course. All right. Uh, it won't be for a few hours till we are off ground, but yeah, yeah you got your free. repairs to make. Yeah, the I haven't been on an airship before, so I'm excited to see it. Well, let's pop your airship cherry then. Not sure how I feel about the phrasing, but uh, the sentiment I can agree to. All right, follow me. <laughs> so All Captain right. Doodoo <laughs> uh, sort of guides you to the ship. Um, it is on the outside; it's like dirt crusted, but on the actual deck itself is actually fairly clean. Um, you see that it's. Well, let me just fucking show you. Um, Wait, what was his full name again? Dubious du something. Duv du Duvalius Dupont. Oh, Better Duvalius. known as <laughs> Duvalius Dupont, although I noticed Captain Dudu. Yeah, so the ship is se separated into like three decks. There's like two almost ballast type, um, like weird sections on the side, and then there's the actual main deck itself. Um, you see ballista, you see like a cannon on the two ballasts, and they're sort of connected with some metal rods and some just wooden poles. You see a lot of people just going in and out, just um, seeing to day to day. There's these two uh, very steampunky engines that you see are like connected via a lot of axles that just sort of go up towards the balloons. And then there's like a big one in the center that just seems to be just pumping in and out just constantly. 
All right. Uh, well, if you don't mind, I'll show you that on the ship. You guys see that, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, so your, sh your rooms will be on the starboard side. That is a right side, I think. I, I need to Google my ship terminology. I'll be on the right side of the ship, facing forward. Um, I wouldn't recommend going to the left side. That's where um, storage, boring. And the middle section on the hatch, that's where the... Uh, that's where the magic happens. Mostly just food, honestly. A lot of storage Ooh. there, too. Well, we have a, the best cook. What's his name? Uh, her name, Ophelia. Oh. I thought there'd be a um, meme, but that's excellent. No, I just... <laughs> I never grew out of my, uh... My adolescence, as I've been told. Poop jokes are still so, funny. So you're truly, like, a Peter Pan of this ship. I'm not familiar with that legend. Neither it's okay, you're, you're a living legend, dude. You kind of remind me of some of the folks you see in Goldmud. Yeah, I've been once or twice. It's a nice place. Sure is. I've, um... Nice place, but the uh, reasons I went went very nice. Uh, that's a story for another time. War stories. Anyway, I'll show you to the rooms. It's um not much, but it functions. Okay, that's okay. It sort of shows you to, like, a... It just, it just isn't to, like, the, the uh, right side ballast. ballast. Um, it's basically just a room with six beds in it. And there's like a hanging lantern on the on, on the ceiling. All right, so you got six beds. You guys can share or not. Up to you. Um, if you need a ship, there's a hole that's on the side of the ship. Ah, that about does it. Not much, but it's mine. All right, it, and I'd imagine it goes too. It goes. Oh yes. Uh, speaking of when it goes, uh, about how long do you think it's going to be until it goes? Uh, the pairs are going, my men work fast, and with the help of the uh, wind nest, uh, probably two or three hours. Need to get All right, some, excellent. Uh, more Arcadian back. All right, so make yourself comfortable. Uh, kitchen's just in the center. Riley is making a beeline for the kitchen. Yeah, is there a bar on this thing? <laughs> Oh, of course. Okay. Are you guys all going to the kitchen, or are you just... Uh, I would like to um, just hang around here for a bit, and I'm gonna... No, no, no I'm not gonna do that yet. Remind me. I am gonna go to my to the room. To your room? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's a very basic room. It's the the, the beds are clean-ish. The blankets are more clean than the mattress. Um, there is a on your side actually depends on what bed you're taking. But it, throughout the room, there is a almost lingering scent of shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, can I sniff to see where it's located? Um, yeah, it's located in the shithole that he pointed out. It's, um, it's basically just like a slot in the wall that you just stick your ass through. <laughs> but it, it, it doesn't lead to the outside. It just leads... It seems like it goes down to something. But then that's it. Um, I'm going to take the bed farthest away from it. That would be the one down here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to claim that one. Uh, Riley's in the kitchen. Who else is doing anything else? Who's doing what? No, I got nothing specific. Too. Oh, you're going to the kitchen too? Alright, I guess I'm going to go join the kitchen party see what that's all about. Kitchen party. Zero, what you doing? Um, I'll just hang out on the deck, I guess. Just vibe with my bird. Um, yeah, Azov looks genuinely confused at what he what he's seeing here. 
like like you were on a you were on airship before, but Azok wasn't there. This is this is his first time seeing all these arcane bullshit and these like engines and steampunky stuff, just steam just hissing everywhere. Um, kitchen crew, uh, you walk in. There's a couple people in there. There's just three guys conversing, and there's a person at the like a very large stove. Um, see if there's like pipe that lead to the outside of the ship, you know, some sort of vent or something. Um, you see a sort of like a long-haired black woman that's, that's like tied up into um, like a ponytail that's been tied up again. Uh, this long red dress, it, but it's almost like cut at the bottom to like allow for mobility. It, it looks like it used to be some sort of like noble or rich dress, but then she's just modified it. Um, weathered and with like a sort of like a yellowish skin. She just looks at you. Oh, you are uh, passengers? Sure are. Apparently the only ones. Uh, yes, uh, brown shit is not so popular. Uh, my name is Ophelia. Nice to meet you, Ophelia. Why isn't it's the brown shit very popular? It's, it's called it's brown like shit. Ah, just the name then? It, it smells like shit sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I saw the, uh, the, uh, I think he called it the shithole earlier. Yes, Captain, Captain Doodoo smells like shit sometimes. <laughs> really loves that, like, stinky theme he's got going on, huh? Captain Doodoo is a bit of man-child. Hmm. And so I was working for the ship. Captain Doodoo pay me well. Oh, Captain Doodoo pay me well, I, I make good food. Ah, so that's Let's what... have some of it. So how... Oh, yes. No, yes. How do you uh, end up working in the brown shit? I, I, I ran away from, uh, from Kape. And I, I, I don't want to fight. I, I only want to cook. So I, I run, and then I, 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 I find work. And then, and then, and then Captain Dudu, he, 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 he bring me from, from bad spot, tell me, hey, hey, you want work? And I go, yes, I, I, I cook. I cook good food. And then, and then Captain Dudu, he, 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 he hire me. All right. You want food? Sure. I make. And then she just they just turns around and starts like cooking away. Uh, you notice that the tools she has don't look like anything you've seen. It's like there's like this big like um, almost like cast iron like uh, domed pot almost. So for then, those of us in the Earth world, you're describing a, a walk. A yeah, a walk. Okay. Yeah. And then she instead of like instead of like you know spatulas or like um. Or like any like anything, she's using two long wooden sticks and a and a ladle, basically. And she starts like frying some shit. She's just like chopping like onions up instead of like a mat like a vast variety of like knives or anything. She has like a single just cleaver for everything. And she starts like she, she cooks very fast. Like she seems like she's already prepared most of the ingredients in like five minutes flat. She's already cooked up like a good amount of what looks like rice, but there's just a lot of shit in it. Yeah, stir fry. Let's go. This is this is called uh, this is called chow fan in in my language. It's it's, it's fried rice. Well then, let's dig in. It's very good, actually. It's 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 a little bit greasy for those who don't like it, but um, it's salty. It's it's nice. There's a lot of there's some meat chunks in there. There's vegetables. It's very nice. Oh, oh Somebody yeah. died. Yes. It was Mills. We back. Fucking Mills. Yeah, back. Okay. It disconnected for some reason. Nah, she has. Just would be <laughs> like that site. So this is how they eat in Calbay, huh? Um? I uh, in, in my in my nation, yes. There are many nations in Calbay, but this is mine. This is good food. Yes, ca uh, 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 dynasty food, best food. Interesting. I I happy that you have, you like. What kind of fish do they have in Calbi? Uh many. Uh, the, 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 the tuna is 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 very good. Salmon. There's there's, there's salmon. There's. Uh, has Riley ever heard of these? I imagine salmon. Like I'm pretty sure. Salmon. Uh, yeah. Tuna you you haven't ate or seen, but you know of it. You Ooh. know they're like they're big ocean fish. Okay. Uh, we, we eat uh, octopus, we eat squid, 
it are uh, uh, many with uh, this this uh, with this uh, 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 if 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 you if you very very rich uh, a fugu. I have money. Ooh, I kind of want to try that now. Maybe I'm catch some myself. If if if, if you go to if you go to 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 Kaupe and and you fish in ocean and you catch fugu, uh, don't eat. Poisonous. Bling, 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 yes, very. Will kill you, painfully. Bring to a uh, 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 sushi chef. They 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 they, they make. Okay, sushi. Yes. I wonder what that is. Is is I is 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 little bowl of, of of rice with fish on. No cook. No cook. No cook. No cook the fish. No cook. Interesting. I'd never considered that before. Yes, is 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 tasty. But, but like don't a... don't yes. Oh, you can finish your sentence. No, I I I no mean interrupt. Do you have any alcohol in on this in the kitchen? Yes. For guests. Yes, me me me. You you want you want ah. Uh, uh, mainland uh, alcohol or or, or cowpe alcohol or what? Cowpe alcohol. Cowpe. Cowpe. My home. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try something new. Okay. And she sort of just like rummages through the back of the stove. Um, she brings out like this like um, it's, almost, it's like a white, fairly large white pitcher. Um, it's almost like made of like porcelain. It looks like it's scuffed up and dinged, but there's like a sort of cap over it. She sort of pulls it off and pours very, very small. Uh, they're less glasses and they're more like just bowls. They're like these little red, almost um, like lacquer bowls. They're very small though. They're like shot glasses, but instead of like an actual tall glass, it's wide. Uh, this this is, is similar to uh, almost like... Uh, Strong like whiskey. Okay. But tastes different. Do I sip on it or do I just down it? You 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 go numb, and she sort of like she sort of like holds it like uh, almost like a cup shape with her fingers, and then just like throws her head back. Shot. Go numb. Got it. Shot. Yes. All right. She takes a shot. Okay. Uh, sure. It's strong. I think if sake is strong. Never had. He's like thirty percent. Pretty strong. It's rice wine, so yeah. I don't know what sake is like, but it's three to twenty percent. Give or take, something like that. Okay. Is 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 good? Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's, it's no problem. Please don't ask for too much. I only have one bottle. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you, you want more food? Ophelia, cook. Uh, Actually, I have a question for you. Um, yes. Uh, have you ever been in the deserts back in Kaube? No. It's, 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 it's bad for people like me. Huh. They kill. Oh, yeah? Where is Kaube on a map? It's uh, east. Yeah, I'll bring you to the map here. It's Spring basically the map. right above Tet's cat. Oh, I don't like the new roll twenty. I got used to it. Zoomy thing. I, I, I was on roll twenty. For, I was on roll twenty for a while, so I got used to it already. Mm. I think there's a way you can switch it, but I'm not sure. Where's Tetscrat again? <laughs> the R there, but it's Tetscrat is the adding the R. The least. black part yeah, is it's, it's, that weird, it's that weird black island with a big mountain on it, just east of Rios, okay. and then just above that is Kabe. Got it. Uh, I see the desert. It's blunt. Well, then again, Kabe also has a huge ass island that's actually bigger than the mainland portion. 
So which part is the desert? Is that on the mainland or is there a bunch yeah, of deserts on the, the, uh, the desert? What I'm talking about is, is on the mainland. yellow part, right? Yeah. yeah. Fun fact, the sand there is actually like black, like iron sand. Yes, that is a uh, bad desert. Mm. Nothing grows. Spent a few months there. How? Mm, don't really need to eat that much. You skinny, eat more. And she sort of just shoves like this whole walk of fried rice towards you. Uh huh. Right. I, I I eat like half of it. Wait. Is half of it like? An obscene amount. Uh, she made like a whole walk of fried rice. And she sho shoved the whole walk towards me. Pretty much, yeah. I, I will have like half a bowl. Okay. Yeah, she, 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 you start like, you just grab the little start putting stuff into the, the bowl. To eat it, I'm going to have to take my mask off though. Yeah, I take my mask off and I'm very obviously like a ghost. And I start eating the rice. The, the, the three guys are just like, Two guys and a woman just like sitting there look towards you in weird like they seem, seem weirded out and they seem like they're workers or something but ophelia just goes you pill you eat more <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll i'll have a full bowl of rice it's good your rice is good i like it a lot thank you it's, it's, you it's cook best. very well i learned from mother ophelia do you happen yes. to have any like mm, a stock of raw meat, perhaps. Ah, uh, yes, we have uh, beef and chicken. Can I grab some of that? Ah, uh, yes, which, uh, which one you want, beef or uh, chicken? Either or. I give you beef, we have more beef. Okay. And she just gives, like, a, basically, like, a, it looks like a crap cut of steak. It looks like it's been, like, almost, almost like, like, like it got fed through machinery, but it works. Okay, I'm going to go run that over to Fieri. Yeah, at this point, you see some of the workers that are um, putting the horses in into the uh, lower chamber. Um, not a huge room. They seem a little bit crammed, but it's spacious enough that they can walk around a little bit. There's a single lantern that's just dangling from the ceiling, similar to your guys' room. Um, you see three horses, uh, one of which you don't recognize, and then Fieri, who is in a sort of like white horse form. Uh, the, the three the three regular horses that you know are regular. They seem to be a little bit spooked, and Fear is just sitting there, like trying to keep them calm. And what about where are other horses? Have they just not been boarded yet? They're they're there. They're down there. Okay. Okay. Like, um, <laughs> you, you, you see, you see uh, Fieri. Uh, I just remember their fucking names. Um, Gordon, Gordon, Ramsey. Gordon, and Ramsey, and, and then a third horse. Third Wolf horse Gang. You know, been told that is be called Wolf Gang. Oh, Wolfgang. Riley doesn't know of this horse's existence yet? You weren't there when they bought it, but you know it's it's yours. Okay. It's just, this is like the first time you've seen it. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to go over to Fury there and then and say, uh, wait, are the are the horse tenders watching right now? Uh, they just finished like locking them up. And then as you're about to leave, they're like, oh, you want to see your horses? Yep. Uh, yeah, um, let me get that door for you. Just open the door and just lets you in. All right. Uh, they're not watching me, are they? He's just standing at the door, just sort of sitting there, watching you as you're finishing up your business. He's about to lock the door afterwards. I'm gonna turn to him and say, "You probably want to look away for this one, because uh, my horse is a little bit shy, you see." Yeah, I, I get. It. We get uh, skittish horses all the time. I know okay. just I mean, just let me just knock when you're done, and I'll let you out. I start. I'm just gonna go to Fury and say, "All right, here's your uh, meat of the day. Sorry if we can't get you more than this." Or just nods in understanding. As he opens his mouth and just with weird jagged teeth that you're not almost uncanny valley like uh, just takes this, this sort of scrap of meat from your hands. Being careful not to puncture you too much. Too much? He's a horse. He not have the best manual dexterity. Alright. Try to enjoy yourself. I don't know what it's like for a a demon horse to be stuck in a stable, but I imagine it's not fun. We're going to be in the air for a few days, so um, I don't know. Just be patient, I suppose. Sort of just nods as you see one of the horses uh, 
Wolfgang seemingly not used to your presence and also got just being crammed in this fucking thing. Just a little bit panic a little bit as Fury just sort of just uh yeah, like Wolfgang just seems just jumping up, sort of like neighing really loudly as Fury sort of just like runs at him a little bit, scaring him into calming down. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have your fun. I'm out. Okay. All right. Anything else anyone would like to do as you're um, waiting on the on the airship? Can I? I'm ready to just hang out. Can I check under the beds? All of them are just yours. Uh, all of them. Uh, make, make an investigation check. Okay. I'm not sure why it's at advantage, but this hope that's that's a. Uh, I'll say your first roll. That's a sixteen. Um. Sure. You're just checking under the beds. You find dust bunnies under yours. Uh, you're sort of just pressing down on planks of wood. You see, just, just checking one by one. Um, you get to the one right next to the shithole uh, before you just start pressing down, and one of the planks give. Like, like, a, it ha- like it hasn't been hammered down properly. Oh. Uh, you sort of just, you sort of just reach in, and you feel something glass in there. Would you like okay. to pull it out? Yes. Okay. Um. You pull it out. It, it, it feels cylindrical and shit. You pull it out, and it seems to be a bottle of brandy. Uh, half mm. drunk. Like half, half of it is missing. Yeah. I guess I'll keep it in there. Keep it in my bag of holding. Okay. Stealing someone's brandy. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Anything else? Um... I think that's all over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at this point, just waiting for the ship to take off. Okay. Can Janice do like a preliminary walk around to see if, you know, there's like a snake man? <laughs> God. Okay. Try to look for uh, Nagas, Yuan Ti, and people wearing snake masks. Um, yeah. Uh, make it a perception check. With guidance. Sure. God damn it. Uh, you see no tall, lanky dudes with snake masks aboard. Or you want to. Or Nagas. I mean, I guess that's good. Okay. So if there's nothing else. Yeah. Yep, so you guys just mill about. Uh, Zero, you're still up on the dock the entire time? Yeah, I'm just hanging out with Azur. Okay. Uh, you're, just, you're just sort of um, just chilling out there while the rest of you guys are doing whatever the fuck. Um, Actually, can see... I do something? Yes. I guess while they're doing this stuff, um, can I cast Find Familiar again? Because I want to change what form he's in. Okay, you're doing it up on the dock or what? Okay, so you can't find familiar. Okay, I, I, so yeah, sure. So you cast you cast my familiar. Uh, you put the brazier down on the coals. Uh, people are looking at you weird, but uh, Captain Dudu is in the middle of conversing with somebody, uh, just off on the dock somewhere. Um, and as the, as the sort of just gout of flame just erupts, uh, people start panicking. They're looking for the what? Huh. <laughs> Captain Dudu just looks. <laughs> and turns back to his uh whatever conversation he had. Uh, what form is is Azza taking? Uh, a cat. Okay. Um, shift into he shifts into a cat. You, you, he's been a cat before, I'm pretty sure. Um, seems weird, sleek black fur that in the right light shines red. And you notice that his eye's still missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but his other wounds as he seemed to have mostly dissipated. There's still some scars where you see there's a bit of matted fur. If you look underneath, there's a, a bit of like a faint scar that's the left. But his left eye 
is specifically missing. Okay, I'm going to pick him up and carry him and scratch him a little. Okay. Yeah, doesn't fight back. Doesn't seem annoyed either. Just seems there. Okay. Eventually, as you guys are just chilling out, eating fried rice, chatting with the crew, they seem nice, mostly. Some of them are assholes. Um, eventually, uh, Captain Dudu, Captain DuPont, uh, she boards the ship. All right, men. All right, we're heading to Inus. Five, six day journey, if assuming it's good weather and no bullshit happens. Are you ready, kids? And everyone goes, aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Is he not <laughs> part? That's where the reference ends? Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, he sort of just gives like a whistle to the side and just sort of just does like some finger motion that looks like a circle. Uh, some people in the docks just nod and they start doing their own motions. And eventually, after a while, uh, Captain, Vol- just, Captain DuPont, Captain Dudu, whatever you want to call him. Just goes, oh! And then eventually the <laughs> ship drops and it starts falling for probably about 30 feet before the engines start glowing. It just, and then it just hisses blue steam, <laughs> white steam. As eventually the ship, the falling ship, you guys all feel this and it's weird. You, some of you lift like a couple, like, like a foot off the ground before the ship just suspends in the air. Uh... And then, and then the side engines start pissing, and then steam just. Tss. Some of them are. You see the axle start spinning, and then the propellers that are on the on the balloon start spinning up as well. As you guys eventually take off from the wind's nest, leaving Silnia for good. Uh, cool. That, I guess that's what we'll call it. All right. Solid session. No Did combat. You? I'm sorry. Well, one day. Um, one day. You're on airship now. Who knows when it happened? <laughs> mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe hope. an ancient gold dragon will show up and you'll end us for sure. God, I fucking hope so. What are the running oh. jokes of this campaign? We made a couple. We, we have small, and we have um, <laughs> Samsung. Yeah, we have, <laughs> that's, I guess that's one now. We have ancient gold dragons. Another one. Reese's uh, pieces. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Luca's existence. Yeah. Gordon was an inside joke, and then it just isn't the plot now. <laughs> he, he was a joke, now he's, now he's canon. Everything we do is recorded. <laughs> the Reese River is now a thing. <laughs> yeah. You I willed know. it into existence at my expense. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Eugene. Victoria's Secret. Well, those are jokes I've made. I'm not sure me talk about <laughs> Simon gave me access to a spell that's three spells in one. What? Uh, charges. Yeah. But I get stinking cloud with no concentration that obscures sight and heals undead creatures for 1d4 plus by spell cast modifier every turn. I'll tell you this. Actually, there's concentration. Wait, I think there is. Maybe not. No, you, it specifically specifies mm. that it requires no concentration. I didn't think that through, but that's my fault. That is so fucking powerful. Holy shit. Actually, I'd like to clarify that. Like, how does the... Because it says it's a thick black fog that obscures sight. Mm. How does that work? I mean, it's just, you're just under the heavily obscured condition. Or heavily obscured. Okay. Uh, thing. All right. And so everything is considered heavily obscured for everything that's inside. And if you're inside, everything, just everything... Pretty much, yeah. You, you won't be able to okay. see basically like a foot in front of you. So, yes, you'd be healing, but also you probably can't do very much. Mm-hmm. Chris has so I basically get consequences, uh, healing spirit, darkness, depending on what you do, and uh, well, the consequence was losing gold. Hmm. Uh, you're effectively excuse. blind, essentially, when you're heavily obscured. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. 
And there's no yeah, but I can still like or shit. I can still like poke my head out. Theoretically, I could. Mm-hmm. Oh, EXP. Um, oh yeah. That's a thing. I guess I prepared just enough. Barely. Uh, I'll give y'all. Give y'all a thousand XP. Flat one thousand. All right. Sure. I think about oh, it. I don't even need 44. Our next level is what, 47? 48. 48, 48. okay. We're so close. I'll give you... Give you an extra 500. There's some good RP today. Okay. Nice. Five three then. Yeah, with, with the burying of the kid and the um, talk with Azic. Lot of shit there. There's some shit. Oh fuck. I'm spilling. Riley didn't do a whole lot this time around, did he? I can't remember. I think Riley was the most boring character this session. You went around looking for me. Yeah, and I made two jokes at your expense. One joke at Azic's expense, not knowing. And that's it. Yeah, Riley was completely just pointless this session. I think you actually gave the reporter the name of Sunny. Isn't that a good thing, though? The warden told us not not to talk about it. Oh, well, don't. Too late. Uh Uh-oh. We're out of there. Not our problem anymore. No consequences. <laughs> That's then, the motto of, of the Zodiacs. No, Warden Leslie. What, Wesley? Wesley. Warden boards an airship. Yeah, he boards a ship and he finds us in Imus. Are we are we staying in Imus? Is that like the final destination? I can't remember. I thought we're going to Fairhaven. They're going to Tetscat. Are we airshipping to Tetscat or are we airshipping to Imus and then going to Tetscat from Imus? The, the ship has the Imus. Okay. So we have to manually get from Imus to Tetscad. Uh-huh. Okay. We shouldn't take too long. I mean, a few days, I maybe. sort of have a plan for As that. As opposed to what? Automatically? Just open up your map and go fast travel, man. Come on. You no. can fast travel to any place you've been. If you have a wizard with teleportation circle. Next. Um, how much would a helm of teleportation cost? Is that a thing? I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Addy Brothers don't have that. They could make it for How you. It'll just take a while. It'll probably be mad expensive. Oh, it's um, what is that? It's a rare magic item. Rare. It's it'll 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 cost. Uh, like how many thousands are we talking here? I don't have a thing. I don't remember. Um, I don't know. The, the Addy Brothers don't have one. Uh, the rarity prices from the DMG is anywhere between 500 to 5,000 gold. I might uh, fuck around and buy a helm of teleportation. Yeah. Assuming the brothers have one, which they don't. And they also, it, it, it's a powerful item, so they'd probably be closer to the 5,000 range, maybe more ish. Mm. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be thousands at the minimum. Yeah, for sure. But you got the money because of some bullshit investigation rolls when recruiting your character. <laughs> but it's there. Supreme potion. Supreme potion's five thousand. Yeah, that's that one. That one it will multiply rats um, because of how much flesh it regenerates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And once again, I underestimated how how long D and D takes sometimes, and I don't have to plan ahead that far. Well, now you have more. Ahead to be planning or something. I do, but you also remember that I had three weeks to write for this one, and I just didn't. And it turned out really fucking well. This is a good session. A, a lot happened. A lot did happen. I was just throwing everything I had at you. They just somehow just happened to interconnect. Somehow managed. Uh, just somehow, by coincidence, your writing was good. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow, potato, potato. 
somehow I survived. I don't even understand how that happened. That was wild. Jesse oh. happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for ruining my plot, Jesse. Uh, had a cool I moment. Think it's, sorry. <laughs> I think it's hilarious oh. because if they find us again and they're like, well... Uh, this is awkward. You, you survived. Why did you survive? I guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was if I couldn't even kill the guy I thought was the weakest. No, now they're just going to fucking double check. I think I'm going to double tap is what it is that as well. That means mm. they're going to leave an atom of Chris left. Well, maybe because we're not splitting up anymore, right, gang? Yeah. For also, any um, reason, we're. 2700 XP away from Ray's dead. Then death is just inconsequential. Yeah, death just costs 500 gold. <laughs> I have four deaths left before I die for real, then. Damn clerics, man. Well, now I, just, I don't have to feel as bad about killing you all. That's not an invitation to kill us. It already happened today, and the dice were merciful. Mm -hmm. I was doing something earlier. I don't remember what it was. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, no. Hey, what are you guys doing? End game. Oh, not yeah. much for me to do now. I'm gonna. Where's Where's Craig? Leave. Get out of here, Craig. Nobody wants you around anymore. Whoa. Don't harsh? you say that to Craig? I'll say what I want to Craig. Craig works hard for his for his penny, all right. Yeah. I pay him a wage. Yeah, I bet you fucking do. He's just a drain on my life. <laughs> so you agree? <laughs> that was a reference. Daniel Craig. That is what he's what he used to be called, but then apparently Daniel just broke the game, so I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> all right.